Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to The Darkest Hour. Tonight is episode 57, featuring Augie, Suki, and Wilson. Should be a good one. Let's say hello to the boys. What up, boys? What up? How's it going? Hello? We're live already. We are live already. Oh, I uh oh, hello. <laughs> what up? Good to have you guys Wait. here. Augie, Wilson, Suki, thanks for joining. Where's your camera? Uh, no camera for me this week. Hopefully we'll be good to go next week, but I had a, uh, a preventative skin cancer treatment kind of a thing. I had my face lasered to get rid of some like growths and like a cancer spot and uh -oh. shit. So my face is a little red and inflamed right now, so I got to let it heal. But mm. worth, worth doing. Uh, don't worry, the cancer's Probably. not going to kill me or anything. I'm I'm fine. It's a uh, very early stage shit, but I had to, you know, I decided to uh, oh. to have it lasered. Yeah, but I'm I'll be all right. I don't, I don't have like terminal cancer. Everything's fine. <laughs> uh -oh. But anyway, yeah, it's uh, it just looks red and bad. So there's no reason to put the uh, put the cam on. But yeah, I've talked about this before. I, I brought this up a couple months ago that yeah. a doctor had talked about this, but it's all good. Um, anyway. Good to have everybody here. We are several weeks into the wipe and the patch, which is great. I'm loving the game right now. Other folks in the call have put out some videos that we'll get to, Mr. Augie. <laughs> uh, some folks time. are enjoying it more than others. Yeah. Some folks are burnt out. I think it's going to be a good conversation. That being said, Donnie, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Am I on the right microphone? You sound beautiful. Okay, sound great. Good. making sure. Um, yeah, I'm good. No, I'm just playing normal, so I haven't really done any uh, high roller yet, but just having a good time. Just chilling, playing like four hours a week. Game's fun. There you go. All right. I don't know. There you go. I, don't really <laughs> have anything to say. I will say, it. you know, I, you get used to it very quickly, but dude, I am so happy the game runs so nice now. Like, I don't I don't think I rubber band. I think I rubber banded like one time today playing. So that was really nice. Really, really grateful for that. Good. I, I've noticed better. I've noticed some hiccuping and some rubber banding a little bit yeah. uh, since some of the hot fixes. But I mean, I'm I'm assuming that's a constant battle. You know, like as you update things, as you update the engine, as you update the game, like there's going to well, be. I think certain... that engine update really uh, really hit things down. But yeah, I think right. I think that that's probably a normal thing, right? Like update engines don't mean that all the drivers and all the things you put into place are updated too, right? So it's a it's got like a a domino effect for updates, but whatever, they're working on it. And the game does feel good. Um, Jay, how are you? Uh, good. I'm playing some Apex, dude, I'm owning. I'm basically a legend now. Are you owning, for real? A lot, of, a lot, of, a lot of yelling in there. Uh, I'm, I'm owning in my silver games, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Mr. Suki Spy, what is new with you, sir? How goes the, the beanery? He's the bean doctor. He <laughs> yeah, yeah, the beans are good, guys. Don't worry. I'm doing good as well. Thanks for asking. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't played too much recently. I had some like PC troubles, so uh -oh. I'm gonna learn a lot today. But yeah, I'm good. That's all sorted now. So yeah. All yeah. right. Good. And Mr. Augie, how are you, sir? Mm, big chilling. Big we, uh, chilling. We drove down to Toledo over in Ohio to check out the. Uh, Eclipse the other day at the zoo was pretty fun. Eclipse oh, yeah. at the there, zoo. Do the animals dope. look up too? Uh, dude, like the flamingos mm. all circled up, hit all their babies and shit. It was just kind of weird. Really? <laughs> That's weird. We were standing right by flamingos, yeah. What the I fuck? I think if I saw up, a, a flock of flamingos hiding their babies in the Eclipse, I'd think something bad was about to happen. Oh, like, shit. death is coming! <laughs> uh, the sky yeah, is dark! Like, uh, yeah. It's all cool to the flamingos got in a group, man. Yeah, what the fuck do they know that we don't? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. crazy. Uh, Mr. Game of the Wilson Variety, what's new? Uh, everything's been good. We tried out some trios for the first time, uh, which was, like, enlightening. Um, <laughs> but it was very enlightening. Yeah, we'll probably talk about it some more later. But overall, I've, I'm still very much enjoying myself with Dark and Darker. So I'm not a 12-hour-a-day kind of guy, but um, I'm still having quite a bit of fun. Hell yeah. I'm excited to see where it's going. That's probably uh, not being a 12 hour a day guy is probably why you're still having fun. Mm -hmm. There's a big smile on my face. Like, yeah, everything's <laughs> great. Normal's running around. 
Yeah. yeah. That's it was funny. a good time. That's funny. All right. So, uh, just to kick things off, I did see that there was a Reddit post about some stuff SDF had said in general chat. Just like a little quick little update of where things are going. And then we can, you know, talk about the state of the game. I would love to hear Augie's thoughts. He's had a couple of videos that just came out. And Augie is, you know, a, a legend in the dad community. A long sword grandmaster. has been around since the beginning. So very much looking forward to hearing his uh, thoughts. But let's check out these messages. One second. All right. So this was, I believe, today or the last couple of days, maybe yesterday. Early uh, morning, maybe? For yeah, semi-recently, less than a day. But SDF essentially said, this week's hotfix will be testing gear-based matchmaking. Let's play and give us a feedback. And then multi-classing is very soon. We've started testing it internally, and it's more fun than I thought. We hope to launch it first in a test app next week but we're not entirely sure. Druid's working in progress version will be released within this month. That leads me to believe we'll get like a version like we did with Bard and Warlock, which makes sense for an EA game and like for early testing. Yeah. Sure. And then STF said, Solo will soon have access to all dungeons. Fuck yeah. It is very inconvenient to have to form a party to proceed with the quest alone. Um, it's a bit of a translation issue, but he's just saying that the way the quests currently are, um, it's very difficult for solo players, obviously, especially in like crypts and, yeah. and caves. Uh, well, and, then, and then finally, to achieve this, the monster density of each dungeon will be slightly adjusted when playing solo. I think this is a great change. I love Ooh. it. Oh, yeah. I'm very happy about this. Yeah, this is great. Um, so before we get to the current state of the game, let's talk about our thoughts on gear-based matchmaking, gentlemen. Jay, what do you think? Uh, is it gonna fix anything? Is I it gonna hope do there's anything? not 27 cues now. That's about it. Mm -hmm. Fair. That's what Star Siege. Star, you know, remember Star Siege? I had like fucking six cues or whatever for all the gear scoring. The four <laughs> cues. Yeah, you gotta think it went from one or two two cues right now in high roll or two. Who knows how many now? Right. At least like three or four. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they implement it. Um, I mean, I'm not. I'm kind of neutral at this point. We've seen yeah. several iterations of just how the game runs, different cues, um, all that shit, you know, that we've we've played in the last year. At this point, I'm just I don't care. Just like let's just test systems. Let's see what's what works the best. I'm done caring about certain aspects of how the game currently runs. I'm I'm done worrying about systems that were changed uh, because it's all testing. And I've just kind of, I've come to realize that there's like like being angry about a certain change or lack of a change, it's it doesn't serve me if I'm just trying to have fun with the game, obviously. But things will shift so much and so often that you kind of just have to roll with it. That's kind of the attitude that I've I've come to have. You're about. you're already spewing yeah. the, the Iron Maze PR. Oh dude. yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, but I really feel that way. I've I've been playing norms. Yeah, I, I've been playing norms all week, and just like dealing with how the game currently is and just playing norms. I've just been having more fun. I've had less gear fear less rage when i die in high rollers because you know i can be a yeah. rager sometimes mm -hmm. and just like letting that go i've i've been having more fun and if that's if that's like drinking iron mace coolie fine the coolie tastes good <laughs> I, if you had asked me like a week ago and someone mentioned like gear or maybe even two weeks ago before i tried a trios out in hr and all that i do think it's going to be worth testing because it's like kind of whack in there right now like we like Ryan and Sophie and I, we queued together first time ever playing HR trios. He was in Pathfinder, so we were getting like all the god squads. So we ran into like Repose, we ran into Juye. Um, and like we're running like mediocre just like for fun blues and stuff. And I mean, mm -hmm. we're like Soapy was in Jay's chat today, and he's like, if you don't, it felt like if you didn't have 25k gold kit on, you're just you're just not irrelevant, <laughs> irrelevant. So like, yeah. we I had a ton of fun because I'm man. playing games with people, and it was just an awesome experience. But it did kind of, I did kind of realize like how, how long can this go on for before, you know, someone just drops it. You know, you realize you're like, the, a you're like the new AI. You're like the new yeah. roaming pack of skeletons. Yeah. yeah like <laughs> literally I mean, what you are. Um, is the gear difference see. that crazy in like, oh, yeah, high you don't know. Yes. Yeah. You don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's really bad. Yeah. For, and this like, is why, this is why I've been saying for so long that there needs to be a gear squish. If you have top end gear, 
and you were a god and like the best kit, max you should have 10 up to maybe 15% more power than someone that's just in blues. But there should be other ways to feel mm. powerful, like stats or percentages that increase to help you clear PvE more or to do more damage to bosses or to do other shit in the game to feel powerful, not just one-shot Timmy or one-shot the guy in purples faster. I just... I think that's whack. Yeah. I think it's eventually going to have a similar effect to like Mordhau or something where the best of the best stick around and they slowly carve out the people that can't stand up to them or put in the same well, amount of time and the player base will suffer for it. That's what I think. The crazy difference because you said Mordhau is like in Mordhau you're losing to skill. <clears throat> oh, that's true. But I, I'm telling you right now, there's there's skill in this game. And there's oh, yeah, and that's why sure. I said a similar effect. I'm not saying yeah, yeah. dark and darker players have access to like the same kind of feints and shit that Mordhau players do because they don't. But there's definitely people that are playing a different game, like you or Repose, and even Augie with his longsword wizardry, right? So I I don't know. I think that like I said, a similar effect could happen if gear allows people to be such gods or in the, well, let's call it what it is a demigod because that's the rank but um mm -hmm. that's yeah. available to you but that's kind of what you become at a certain point in this game and eventually that will have an overall negative effect if people don't have that escape from tarkov mosin to take down the juicer you know like you got to have that you got to have access to that in the game to equalize things and so, I, I think it's so really important we, we talked about this a bit yesterday with with those other guys and this, I think, pulls in the whole, like, two times headshot damage modifier conversation, where's where we went with it. Because it's like, do they need to add that to have the equalizer, like you're talking about? Um, or is that just going to, like, make range and windless necessity? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It but I think, I think that's where they're trying to decide some of that and, like, test. So I'm interested if it hits the test server with some of these other changes. Because, um... You know, landing a headshot with a spear, even uh, two times multiplier, is it's substantial different. Right. And maybe you can swing that fight if you're if you're moving properly. Right. But mm. I know a lot of people were like super, like super, like no, don't ever add that to this game. Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. I just I can see why maybe they're going that way. Well, it's maybe scary for still... ranged. <laughs> it's scary for like to think that the bows will start to one tap yeah. everybody. And that's because that that's will that hundred percent will happen. But then the, ar the argument was like, okay, for these like full bist out characters, the two X does nothing for them, but it does something for everybody else because you're still getting one tapped regardless of the two X in or not. But yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they could do it with like a not affecting range, but that is obviously a little there cringe. Some, yeah, yeah, there are some weapons like longsword repost is a one point eight seven five multiplier on both attacks already at base, and then mm -hmm. you add in you add in another what it's like. 40 something damage or something the way math works yeah On top that doesn't of that, sound fun the headshot it would be uh <laughs> insane so people mm. would kite you more yeah yeah they would <laughs> yeah they would and rightly so <laughs> tricky problems to to figure out uh so stf saying multi-classing is very soon testing it internally it's more fun than we thought um, we hope to launch it first in a test app next week. All right, who is immediately abandoning the main servers and going to the test server, if that's what he's saying, that it'll be on the test server? Oh, yeah. Cool. Who, who is yeah, it? Yeah, 100%. Hey, some people might not, especially if to re-level. Now, do they give us you know level 20 isn't? characters, or level 30 or 40 Those or 50 AP characters? farmers, bro, they're locked in, buddy. I'm going to be multi-classing <laughs> on the test server. Yeah, that's what I'd be doing, too, for sure. But, the, I mean, they're going to have to restart from scratch and level it up from one. It would suck if that's if that's I'm what happens. Sure I hope they give us some high level characters mm -hmm. or accelerated. Like, sure. They should just they should just give you somebody you can already level like multi class. Like let's test the stuff. Sure, that's what, what I said. That's, that's what I said. Surely that happens want? though. Yeah, you would think. Like, no one's got a hundred hours to sink into a test of it. Exactly. It doesn't make sense. True. Yeah, of course. I'm sure they're thinking of it. Uh, Suki, what's going to be your first multi class? Perfect question. Um. Man, I'm, I was thinking rogue just with a longsword. Just go fast, maybe tumble <laughs> around a little bit. Oh my longsword. God. Tumble, just, uh, dude. <laughs> holy shit. Tumble. Yeah. Tumble's good until Tumble's people crazy, just hold dude. W. When they just hold W and don't try and like space, you just lose. Yeah, fair. That's true. That's my experience with tumble. But, yeah. but tumble has animation cancels. So oh, it's like yeah. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. It's really good. It could be really good. 
Yeah. And very niche. Though. What were you going to ask, Wilson? You said you had the perfect oh, question. That was going to be my question for um, ah. for the Longsword guys. What are you multiclassing into to make Longsword possible? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I've never asked, so I'm just curious. You asked the perfect question. Yeah, what do you think, Augie? Mm. Honestly, there's not a lot of... I mean, if I'm being honest, I think the best thing you could get <laughs> for Longsword is Iron Will off Barbarian, so... Yeah. yeah, the fighter perks are so good anyway. Yeah, the long sword and the like perfect. Yeah. Maybe change like one of the abilities, yeah, like second strike. Wind, but... Yeah, Achilles yeah, strike is good for like that close. And yeah, I nice. think so. Yeah, considering you get a uh, seventeen percent on hit soul still from long sword, same as the magic staff. By the way, you're lying. Yeah, hmm. magic staff has seventeen. Long sword has seventeen. It's goofy, wow. man. It's goofy. Honestly. Would blade a, would blow a corruption work with like a parry? You think? Yeah, it does. Yeah. But it's like too much because people will just run away when they see blow up corruption. Uh, They're not fair, gonna get a parry, right? Yeah. Yeah. Run for eight seconds, then reengage. Right. Well, now they they buffed it, right? It's like no, they nerfed it. They nerfed it. They nerfed it. Yeah. I thought they nerfed damage. the damage, but buffed the blow corruption time. change was great. Yeah, I think it was a good change. Leaning into yeah, the yeah they just, they that. only they only took away some of the damage. Yeah. I'm, oh, okay. I'm telling you right now, Barbarian with Weapon Mastery. That's what I want. Just one perk and completely change that class. <laughs> like just oh. a cool down. Are you taking That's a right. bow? Like, Recurve fun. and Longsword on Barb. Yep. I saw this oh. guy say Barb with Spear Mastery. That's how it should do right Oh, that here. too. That too. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be good. Yeah, I guess Weapon Mastery alone on Barb, not having Shield Mastery at least kind of sucks because that completely changes Repost, right? It makes it Way mm -hmm. more viable, way quicker. Hmm. Um, Jay, what are you gonna multi-class? First thing. I still haven't thought about it at all. And my <laughs> highest level is like a twenty-seven or whatever. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm. I have a bunch of like fifteen to twenty-five characters because I keep thinking of new builds, and I mm -hmm. never just like go all the way to thirty-five or forty-five or whatever. I just keep getting stuff to like fifteen and twenty getting access to all the perks and then thinking of something new and then rolling a new character and it's, I need to just pick a couple and level them but you know that means I'm having fun thinking of uh, potential builds and leveling up new characters though that's good but it's a problem Wilson what are you going to do well yeah I had the same problem but I had to commit with my limited time so I went sure I went with Warlock mainly hoping just to get like anti-magic if I get a perk because I think like what these guys are saying with Iron Will, you just need magic resist on fighter right now. Um, mm -hmm. Even though it doesn't help you much with clerics, at least you can run from them a little bit. Right. But Phantom Eyes is just a, such a, a little oddball thing to throw into a fighter kit or mm. Bloodstained Blade, you know. <laughs> I was doing a lot of Plate Lock, which is hilarious because you just melt people with Beam and you can even build decks on Crystal Sword and do like Crystal Sword Fighter and then have like all these... Anyway, I had just crazy stuff. But then I play Spear tonight and I'm like, man, Spear Fighter with like Achilles and all these other options on Barbarian would be incredible for spacing, and I'm using, like, Breakthrough right now, so I don't have any on-hit slow when I'm Ooh. fighting people. Um, so you yeah. just space with Spear and then step away from people, which is kind of nice, but mm. super non-meta. It's just, like, fun to try. Because right sure. now it's, like, face hug, face hug Central. Like, Chris Daggers face-hugging you, Warlocks, and then if they're not face-hugging you with Daggers or Zweihanders or Slayer Fighters, they're hitting you with spells, like, 20 feet away. It's like, yeah, that weird in between right now is just in an awkward spot. It's like, <clears throat> so it's tough. I just have too many ideas. I hear you. Curse of choice. Yeah, the <laughs> curse of choice. Yeah. Uh, okay, so solo will soon have access to all dungeons. STF, uh, let us know. What do you guys think? Good change. I mean, I'm assuming everyone thinks that's a good change. I'm very happy. Yeah, 100%. I'm so happy with that. I feel like it needs to happen. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I, I, I still believe that any party size should be able to queue up for any map. I don't care if people disagree or not, but once you give people the option and the choice, which has been the case in previous tests and f hot fixes and patches, it's hard to take that away from people. So I just think you should just let everyone well, play whatever they want. I don't think what do I know? Do it or else we're playing PvE offline mode. Honestly. Yeah. Go off, or rather, mm -hmm. every lobby's gonna have like five people in it. Yeah, it even, was pretty like, empty. Maybe, like, maybe I don't even know. HR lobbies right now are kind of like that sometimes, certain hours and stuff. 
How many people are in the dungeon on average right now? 10k right now. It's down to about 6. In dungeon. Yeah, in dungeon there's... Let me see. In dungeon there's 6k right now. Not bad for a little indie game, but obviously a lot less than what we're used to. And there's like 11, 12k online. Yeah. Well, I think it's more so... Like, what was it on wipe day? Like 20k? 26? I think it peaked 32, actually. It was high. People oh, nice. Saying. Yeah, it, it was just over 30, yeah. huh? Which is great. It's just to see such a sharp decline so fast. I think it was a little... Like I 100% yeah. at the time, if we had Druid, it'd be like 20k for a couple weeks. But we didn't. And we didn't have multiclassing either. So we're kind of... like, the, What were the major changes, Squire? Um, Not a lot. Yeah. We're, we're still waiting for that so, real, real Squire big content. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think we're doing pretty good considering it was lighter than they wanted it to be. Yeah. And they kind of yeah. overhyped some of those things, so. Yeah, I mean, I, I personally don't blame people for going away after, like, a week or two. Um, mm -hmm. There's other stuff biggest to play, complaint. sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is. But, I mean, like, my biggest complaint with the game is right now it's it's kind of a shallow experience, right? Like, what can you do? Go around, around the dungeon, kill people, and then grind AP if you really want to? Man. Like, just kind of measure your EP. That's that's pretty much yeah, what you're doing with AP. My Timmy friends that play super casually, they're like, "Yeah, what do they? What do they? Even, like, what do they add?" I'm like, "I don't know, bro. You tell me." They're like, "I can't tell you because I don't know what they added." I'm like, "Oh." <laughs> so, you know, yeah. I mean, they're you know they're doing Operation Health and whatnot, which it's worked it's a lot. Important. The game feels a lot better. Yeah. But yeah. you know, they need to kind of give you some some good like progress type stuff to work towards or something you're really looking forward to. I do stick around. appreciate the polish. That they've done, you know, I think that's just in prep for the EA release yeah, and stuff. Important. Sure. Epic, not EA. Epic, epic games, yeah. Epic, same thing. It's good. Yeah, epic. that'd be nice. I mean, maybe Epic will throw a lot more players. I doubt it, you know? I really doubt it, but maybe. It'll drag a few for sure, but like you said, not many. It's Epic. People hate Epic. <laughs> do you guys, do you guys think that up. Steam is really the only choice, the, like the only good way? To really well, explode the have players. you ever browsed the Epic Game Store? I don't think I have a single time. I have, I life. have for sure. It's, I've I looked at it. There, I got a, a free game one time and then never played it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's what ninety percent yeah. of people on yeah, it's like, oh, Epic that's Games awesome. want to do. I never go back. I think I bought Hitman because it was only on Epic for a while, and that's the only reason I have Epic on my computer. So Borderlands I play Three, Hitman. I think. Yeah, Borderlands Three was the game I played there. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but still, so, it's a big platform, so good for them to yeah, release. Huge. Yeah, so, yeah, it's, I, it's I, still I, a victory. Yeah, yeah. I'm still, curious why why not epic games? You know, yeah. so. have they expressed why not Steam as well? Do they have like some sort of like negotiation with Epic or something like that? You'd or? have to just guess because Nexon threatened Steam before. Yeah, yeah. I can. I mean, That's we don't probably know. Probably why they've never talked about it, but we can only assume it's lawsuit, right? So we just have to wait, and we don't know when that. Well. Will be. Why is yeah, Epic like, fuck it, we'll take it? <laughs> they didn't get threatened by Nexon. Yeah. Or whatever. No yeah. Interesting. No copyright. <laughs> it, well, I mean, imagine Nexon trying to take on Epic. It just seems like that would be a foolish move. But Oh my god, Pleber is a genius. Game is also made in Unreal, so maybe Epic paid them. Oh. No. Is that a thing? I mean, there is exclusive deals. I I don't know. I, 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 by the way, I have not Did started you, at yeah. Iron Mace. I, have, I don't start for <laughs> another like three weeks. I don't know. I don't know shit. So <laughs> I'm, I'm still just a dude that does the podcast. Uh, but yeah, Epic owns Unreal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah. About someone in chat was just, they didn't realize. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a, a huge asset to own and, you know, I mean, yeah. Make available to, to devs and whatnot. It's a lot of money. Um, Okay, and then finally, monster density and and solos and all the dungeons. F fucking thank you, especially solo ice caves. It's gonna be so yeah. fun. I can't wait. I cannot wait for solo night. ice caves I while mean, testing multi-classing. Yeah, some of the rooms and crypts. You know, everyone knows that big room with the X. You know, and it's just it's a billion <laughs> yeah. mobs in there. Could you imagine <laughs> trying to do yeah. that shit solo? Yeah, it sounds like a nightmare. Awful. You'd be stuck in there the entire raid. Yeah. yeah. Everything but longsword take a while. And that's what I I call oh, okay. Goblin Caves Happy Baby Wonderland, dude. <laughs> longsword is the goat PVE clearing weapon. Yeah. Uh, end of last wipe, Nightshot and my our, my buddy, we did our demi duo dash right, and I had thirty two hundred more PVE clears than him by the time we finished. 
Well, he was that playing damn. Ranger and I was playing Longsword Fighter. Hmm. Like he couldn't, he, he started 4,000 ahead of me. And by the time I hit Demi, he was 4,500 points back from me. Wow. Jeez. So that's, and you just clear for days, easily clear and clear and clear with Longsword. So it, it does make it way easier. Yeah. Like, I'm kids. I was like, damn, this place is soft. They removed so many mobs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, I didn't realize that was a problem for people with the density. Right. <laughs> it's like, yeah, what? Yeah, I was just about to say. I don't think it's... Yeah, Suki knows. I was going to say, Suki, I, it... I mean, you yeah, use yeah. minions for parry repost. That's like a part of your strategy. So how do you feel about less less minions yeah, it's to like use? Less, less friends, right? It's like, yeah. it's not good. Less parry yeah. pals. Yeah. When, yeah, when you get in there with Iron Mace, just sort it out, please, you know? You have that power. <laughs> one person um one person did say it like less mobs is less xp as well so i thought that was kind of an interesting take on it they're they're worried they're not going to get as much experience on their journey through crypts as a solo oh do you want to go back in the caves buddy is that what you want <laughs> I, i'm not i'm not gonna say who it was yeah, Jay Cruz, fine. i don't i'll take less xp <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I think it's just annoying after a while. Like, it's nice to be able to move through the map at, like, a decent pace than have to clear, like, mm -hmm. five mobs a room where you're just like, fuck, right. come here. Because it's, at, you know, at the end of the day, it, like, it's fucking chores. You're just like, all right, let me hit you back up, hit you back up, hit you back, you know? Sure. Yeah. Um. All right. Gentlemen, our friend Augie here has put out a couple of videos in the past couple of days about his thoughts of the state of the game. Augie, I would love if... Well, I mean, it's up to you. You don't have to, but it'd be cool if you would want to uh, yeah. address it. Tell us your thoughts on the game, um, your hopes and aspirations for the game. Are you gonna? Are you quitting outright? What's going on? Tell us about the last couple of videos mm. and your thoughts, please. Mm. So, let's see. I don't play that much, actually, compared to other creators. I think EA. I have less than eight hundred hours which was less than most of the guys even in our longsword community, right? 800 um, is still a colossal amount of time played. That's a good amount of hours. Compared yeah. to other people pushing videos, though, I stopped for two weeks in December, three weeks in January, two weeks in February, a week in March. Like, I take breaks. I'm in the middle of a Divinity Original 2 playthrough with some... some Hell yeah. Friend, oh, you know? awesome. So, like... Because they want to play Baldur's Gate 3, I'm like, well, motherfuckers, you got to play Larian's other amazing game first, you goobers. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> so, some nerd shit. What a time commitment! <laughs> You've just signed them yeah. up for. But uh, I mean, I played on Thursday, had some fun. I played Friday or stream Friday night, I think, into the middle of the night. Started running solo trios, normals, voiping, being a goofball, trying to have fun, and it was fun. I got on Saturday. I died a bunch of times to people running away. The throwing axes after the throwing axe changed to thirty five percent slow, and I'm like. This isn't helping me chase motherfuckers down. This is helping people run away better. That's all it's doing for me. That's all I'm seeing. And then I had a warlock guy kill me. It was pretty sweet. I was void from being a troll. He cre I crept up on some people. He crept up on me. Bonked me in the face with a falchion. I flubbed changing weapons. And instead of just a quick follow-up attack with the falchion to kill me, the best play is walk away and then cast spells. And I was like, oh, my God. Mm. This isn't fun. This is this is shit. I have not had fun dealing with this for the past month and a half. And so I shared it. And I was like, dude, there's no way. There's no way this is the game that Iron Mace wants to put out. This is dumb. I'd rather go play Tarkov with a pistol only. Like, it's it's been not fun. And so I'll, I want to share it. Uh, most of the people that were talking shit to me about it didn't understand what it was about. It wasn't about winning every fight or having a chance at winning every fight. It had nothing to do with that. It's only about the game feeling fun and enjoyable again. And every game gets optimized to shit, right? That's how it works. The dev team up to the dev team to change balance. So the way the game is optimized is still enjoyable across the majority of player base. The best way to play every class is actually the kite, throw all your throwables, shoot all your arrows, shoot all your spells and run the fuck away. You get in melee range. You done fucked up AA Ron. Like, straight up. That's it. Uh, and mm -hmm. it's not fun. It's just not fun. Like, we play in high roller, and I'm using a win list with plus 16 fucking weapon damage on fighter, hitting for 189 damage. I one shot 
many wizards, rogues, and warlocks. And I'm like, there's no way they're having fun. I'm sorry. These guys hate this right now. They didn't have a fucking prayer. I collateral you guys, and they sure the fuck didn't have fun. And, like, fuck, that's not even the best way to, to – the best winless potential. That's why that shit's gotten nerfed. Just the range damage across the board is too good. You have range damage that has the same value as melee. You have range damage or range attacks with the same utility and on, in on hit slows as melee. And you can't have both. I'm sorry. I really don't think you can have both. So, I mean, Longbow has a 30% on hit slow. Recurve Bow has a 20% on hit slow. Recurve Bow has better on hit slow than Arming Sword. Better on hit slow than a lot of melee weapons, including Longsword at 17. Like, there's a lot of aspects about the range damage being as good as melee in many cases across the board. And it makes it so you could remove melee weapons, take the Franciscos, make them a reloadable weapon, and drop them on Barbarian. And they'd play the same way. Outside of Skinny Pete. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Goblin Cave is so, its own beast sometimes. And, and that's another thing. Like I've been playing solos. I've been playing duos. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely skewed my perception of the game right now. Yeah. Because that's yeah, we, not the issue in trios. You know? when, we did, when we did trios, we had, I was on fighter with a crossbow, like a good one. And then obviously Soapy's playing ranger with like a windlass and hitting some crazy damage. And then Ryan was on bard with a bow. And when we went against the Warlock team, it was like, actually, we had a chance because we were, we were hurting them, you know, from range. Right. One, one thing I've always thought, and it's like, it's frustrating, especially for you longsword guys, because the second I see a longsword, I'm like, I don't want to get parry reposted. Like, <laughs> that's not what I enjoy. <laughs> so right. I'm getting the fuck out of here. So <clears throat> it's tough because I feel like you guys kind of get the brunt of it too, because you're that class yeah, that uh... the second I see a longsword, I'm like, I'm not swinging into that because if he's really good with it, I'm screwed. Um, yeah, and that's another but, part about longsword, man. It's it's super unrewarding to play into. Yeah, like, and, and it's because yeah. you got a one hundred eighty seven percent hit multiplier on two attacks. That's, mm -hmm. I mean, cool. It's a gear equalizer. Yeah, you should be rewarded for your skill. But Jesus, guys, it's mm -hmm. it's unrewarding to play against, and it's not fun to play into. And I'm, I'm on the same page. <laughs> well, like, how often do people the eat those two swings and not die? You know, it's rare. Right, not very often. Yeah, it's rare. So even in one thing, one thing I think I like, I see that I do like about the range damage is like, or just damage in, dren in general with Dark and Darker. I kind of liken it to PUBG. Like when you hit a guy and you see the blood or whatever, and you feel that Mosin or you hear that SKS like firing, it's like, it's intense, like those moments. So like you hit a, a longbow shot and you see the impact and you feel it and you know that guy's hurt. And that does get, get me excited sometimes, you know, it's like, damn that punch he's feeling and i've been in that situation where i got smoked with a bone i'm like oh fuck like panic stations shit's happening kind of thing it's just it's trying to balance that enjoyment of like the impact of like your actions and like that feeling i guess sometimes because it is exciting when you hit a windless body shot and you're like there's an equalizer okay i can get in there now um so it's tough because they're, they they want to I feel like if you're playing PUBG, I always remember like that experience was like nothing else. Like when you hit a shot, it felt like, man, this is this is feeling good for me. Like in Tarkov, like, oh man, his arm's probably broke. Like he's feeling it. He got hit with a slow. All these things. So I think it is curious how they're gonna like go forward with it. But I can see why a lot of people enjoy it because there's definitely moments where I enjoy that, where it's like, damn, that guy's hurting. Now I'm getting in there. So it's it's a tough one. I don't know. Um, I do feel like right now it's it's probably a bad time to be playing playing fighter. <laughs> so if you're if you're a slow class um, of any kind, I feel like it's a tough tough scene for you right now. Mm. But Suki Spy, you're uh, a long sword guy as well and a fighter. What do you think about um, Augie's assessment? Yeah, I mean he's spot on, really. Um, I don't use range because I don't enjoy it as well. I never have. Um, I feel like the satisfaction from range, like landing those shots, is kind of dampened because you can just spam 10, 15 shots and you hit one, you know, and it doesn't matter how good your aim is. They just hit one of the spams. It's like, you know, that's the same effect. Same with the windlass. You can just hold it until people come into melee range and guarantee hit. So it's not like that mm -hmm. skillful feeling. And uh, it just feels kind of cheap. I don't think it's fun for anyone. So I kind of get around that just by being like a little rat sneaking around. I play no armor, just go fast, try and get in there, try and sneak up and, and close the gap wherever I can. 
and that's kind of my answer for it but mm -hmm. yeah it's not fun in like a fair fight i don't know, I don't know. they did i find like everyone now is posting a, a build with like 50 plus percent pdr so mm -hmm. it feels like there's a lot of classes that can now build pdr so it makes fighters somewhat irrelevant in that case too so um i don't yeah it's interesting because personally <laughs> i like i like the fighter because i do a mix of both and honestly most times when i play like slayer was just because the movement speed and then i do bow stuff <laughs> You know, so most times my chats tell me I play like fighter like a ranger, which I, tonight I was using spear. So I'm probably on the other side where it's like kind of enjoy that sometimes. It's just I know what you mean, because I went into those trios and it was just like range spam. And then like yep. teams on either door and everyone was waiting to third party the team that was getting, you know, beat up the most by the range damage. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Julia's behind the door waiting with his buff ball, like gearing up and you're trying to hold a room from another team shooting shit at you. It was just crazy to me, but it, it was fun. Just um we died <laughs> you know really we lost for sure i yeah. mean i like i said i made a couple videos because uh -huh. it was a lot of fun but like it, it can't be fun for the people on the receiving end either like it, it's got to be mm -hmm. rewarding both ways or people are going to leave that's just how games yeah. work if you get shit on enough you're like well why the fuck am i here getting shit on this is dumb i'm out you know and mm -hmm. like i said i've i've one shot i think we have over 30 30 36 37 one shots from the win list while I was just goofing around in duos. And like, Jesus, man, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Are you body shotting, one shotting them, or are no, you like headshot dude, headshot, them? headshots? I mean, I saw, it was a double body shot, but like, I, mean, I saw Katie had a really nice like kill too on end boss, which is kind of nice. Nah, <laughs> that shit yeah. was hilarious. <laughs> one of the nicest windless shots I've ever seen. For real. Nah, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I totally hear you. I mean, if there was if there was a, a magic wand available to me and I could cast a spell and make changes right now, I would do a, a stat squish. You know, like I said, no more. Any, even 15% is, is too much, probably. But no more than a 15% increase overall in stats from, from someone that has worse gear. I, I just think it's smarter. I would make time to kill a little longer, and I would... I would change the ranged meta. I would diminish the ranged meta and make, I don't know, the game feel like it did in the early play tests when people didn't realize that Kite and Kiter was the best way to play and you would just yeah, stutter. Everyone was a noob. Sure, Everyone's sure, yeah. sure. Absolutely. But I have a question, I, Augie. Like, what do you, is there like a change you want to like range and stuff? Because mm. I, because it's like, what, like, what do you, what would like a wizard do, for example? Someone who casts spells, you know, their whole thing is range. No, I understand. But I more it, it, I, I do want to say I more so I complain about like bows and throwables and stuff. I don't think those should be like the end all be all unless you're a ranger. You know what I mean? Like should should uh, leathers have projectile resistance? Some of it, mm -hmm. and then just Maybe. buff some of it on armor. Um, I, have like, I is, mean, I think who knows? I think the biggest issue with range damage, and it's not. It's I mean, magic damage is its own beast. There wasn't be sure, up until sure. this wipe. There was absolutely not enough MDR in the game. Period. Magic damage yes. was almost pure true damage. You know what? Yeah, yeah. And it's much better now. Period. I can get fifty one per fifty two percent on a bullshit build with a dark plate on fighter. I don't even mm -hmm. have. Hell. hell in the in the video I put out today, I I literally sang while I was chasing a wizard in normals, and he missed everything because, well, if you miss everything, you die and you lose. You know what I mean? Wizard Warlock, not an issue. Magic damage has got to have value. And with the new MDR in the game, you can't really, I don't think you need to gimp anything. I think Magic Missiles is still too good. I'd rather see Magic Missiles drop to a tier one spell, 50% scaling and double cast, used for PvE clearing. And then emergency, sure. oh shit. But regardless of Magic Missiles, I don't think Magic Damage is actually that big an issue right now. I think you can spec into dealing with it. I think the kiting out of all the melee classes, is an issue. I think ranged weapons, playing with the windlass and that one shot potential and missing and being like, well, fuck, I just threw our fight because I suck in duos, right? Hmm. They shouldn't take away damage. They don't need to add sway. Remove the hit slow. If you hit your shots, you're rewarded with damage. If you miss while they're gap closing on you, you're punished because when you're in melee, you take a disadvantage because you missed your range shots. But if you hit your shots, you're still rewarded because the damage is still. It doesn't sure. impede people from gap closing because we have no gap closers. Sprint's the best gap closer we got, and that's also negated by getting hit once. 
by anything. You know what I mean? Just getting Rage on that breakthrough game. gaming. Yeah, breakthrough. That's about it, right? No slow through five seconds. Easy, easy, man. With Space Earthquake as well. Yeah. Have you tried that? Breakthrough Earthquake? Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, when Earthquake was an issue, we were running that in trials. It worked pretty well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bring back but no, OP I think, Locust I think the Swarm, please. Low, man. Oh my god. <laughs> just <laughs> kidding. Yeah, just delete everything in the lobby <laughs> under a second. That was a and dark time. <laughs> I will say, as someone who, like, only played Wizard in the playtest and then, you know, started playing other, you know, like, fighters and stuff in Eli- in early access, it is surprising to me how people, they don't even, like, melee. They're not even meleeing you, like, 90% of the time. They're, they're using every... I was saying this the other day, is like, it's weird that as a melee class, you bring one sword, one shield, you know, or one big-ass sword, but you also have 37 axes in your bag and four crossbows. It's like, it's very odd. You know, mm-hmm. as a melee class, to have thirty times more range weapons than a melee weapon, you have crazy. And yeah. the people that the people that want to melee you, you don't want to melee them. It's yeah. like this, this yeah, turbo juice like... barbarian. It's like <laughs> we're not doing this. Or the the smite holy purification cleric. Yeah. Sorry, pal. Like no, nope. <laughs> we're not going anywhere near you. No. So yeah, it's kind of interesting how it works. But I remember when I was doing like plate lock, it was so funny to me because. I never really played like a casting class and like the magic damage stuff's exciting. But basically the whole thing I was doing was just trying to bait them into melee. So like, oh, I'm casting. Oh, I don't have much armor, but you're going to actually get like 50, 60% PDR quite easily. And then you have Bloodstained Blade, Blow Corruption. So the second they, they commit and even land a hit with your book out, it's like, okay, you're getting chopped in the head with Blow Corruption. But that was like, you had to try to bait them in to want to melee. You know what I mean? Even like show them a bit sure. of your back. Like, oh, I'm I'm vulnerable. Come here. Like, but, you know, that's how the that whole thing works. Like, no one wants to get close to you. So, um, but it was fun because you just de- I would just death ray at like medium range, and then they'd either have to run or <laughs> fight. So it was kind of fun. Even if I'm not doing a lot of damage, it was forcing them into melee, which was uh, interesting to me. The funniest part of all that, the, the like 15 second ray of darkness is just so yeah. awkward, bro. You're yeah. like, is and this thing gonna to do end, either. bro? They don't yeah. know what to do either. Yeah. <laughs> Like, they just kind of shrug and their health slowly being deleted. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Let me see here. So, I had a note that I wanted to cover. I can't find the tab. Oh, okay. Maybe That's I why you need sticky notes. Just slap them on the edge of your monitor. Uh, maybe I missed them. Maybe I asked it. Well, Augie, I mean, I, I totally get where you're coming from. I get the uh, the frustration and the videos. I mean, you obviously love the game, so it comes from a, a place of passion. And uh, I hope that we see some uh, some changes, because I, I agree that there's uh, a couple of, of glaring issues that I also, as a Melee bro, feel. So I feel for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got yeah, I got nothing. All your maces are your mace. They, I'll play whatever they make. I'll play Dark and Darker. I'm a little bummed. Streaming it isn't very fun because I'm not very fun to watch when I get frustrated with it. So why, why bother? You know. Oh, that's one of the reasons why I don't really stream it because I'm not. I'm not. First of all, I'm not amazing at the game. There's so many more people that are skilled, like actually skilled. And whenever I do like get bodied in HR, I get I get a little pissy. And that's I agree. It's not fun <laughs> to watch that. No one wants to see the rager. They want to see like the good natured guy with the. Uh, uh, the good attitude, like Wilson or Sookie, right? You just gotta make it funny and break a keyboard every once in a while. <laughs> Punch your monitor, yeah. Summit 1G stuff. Yep. You gotta lean into it more, honestly. Just yeah. be that guy. That's you gotta I scream that. so loud your mic cuts out. That's what'll mm-hmm. get tough. people to stick. That's tough. Mm. I'm over there singing with <laughs> random bards playing drums by the gate. <laughs> oh my God. That's what I end up doing, man. Did, and, and and that's been my f- source of fun for the game. I, I'll jump on Wizard. Wizard's my second most played class, and I haven't put enough time into it in the dude, past couple months. So. Bunk Wizard Norms like, is so fun. So it's fun. So it's man. so good. Just Norms in general. I am so addicted to Norms. I The only thing that I, I miss about HR is the chance of bossing and getting an artifact. That's all I miss. Beyond that, the the, the best of the game for me is Norms. And you also, 200 boss kills dry, and then you wonder what the fuck you're killing it for. 
<laughs> yeah, but I also have spent two years playing Diablo too. I know all about that grind. Like rush to Mephisto or Bale or Diablo and kill him a thousand times and hope you get the rune that you want. That's just part. That's part of these kind of games. I like that. I'm actually mm-hmm. okay with that. I, 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 you know, a lot of the games I've enjoyed, especially like raiding and WoW. Like, motherfucker, you cannot run the same boss every day or every hour. You got to wait a fucking week. And you might get the upgrade. I enjoyed that too. So I mean, like, I think there's a place for it. Uh, but that being said, one of the things that does semi suck is is the gear progression, right? It's out the window. Like you you get a bunch of greens and a couple blues on. You find a, maybe a ring and, a, and an amulet, and you kill a few players. Maybe you go to hell and you kill the norm lich, and then you just toss all that shit out because a it's not going to be using HR because it's just green and blue shit, and you know you're going to get stomped by a god. And B, you want the money to buy meds and like maybe save up for a marketplace god kit that you can bring in and then die two in one run in HR later. So that's <laughs> that's kind of how I look at the game right now. But that being said, I have put more hours into the game in the last week playing norms with, with different buddies, just going in with the uh, understanding that we're just going to find a, a decent-ish kit in the next 15 minutes, kill some players, make a little bit of gold and get out. And I, I don't know. It's fun as fuck. I'm, I'm really, I'm really loving it. Well, at least you get to do the quests. And you quests, know, the, you get the to do the quests. At least give you like a, a ton of stuff to do. I, I like the quests right now. I think they're still pretty 101. They're still kind of bland for the most part. It's a lot of just like fetch quest shit. And I, I still think we're seeing like a rough draft version of the vision of the of questing. But even that being said. It's fun to go in there knowing what I'm looking for or what room I want to go explore or with a goal every match. I think it's great. I had like two weeks off, so now I can just accept all the quests at once and I'm just accidentally doing multiple at a time. It's just so many quests. <laughs> yeah. So that kind of feels good. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely do guys, fun. Do you guys think they'll add like um, class specific quests? Like smash 25 or well, maybe 250 doors with Crush? Or, um, <laughs> I can like see, that. I could see class class quests for sure absolutely and um maybe even quests that are specific to trios doers or solos as well like like get get in a group with these people and you you have to go accomplish this quest that that you know you have to these two people have to stand on these pedestals and the third guy has to unlock a door and it lets out a sub boss that you kill that drops a thing that you take to hell to do something i don't know quests like that like complicated quest chains I think that there's room for stuff like that. And I don't think every quest needs to be available to every, every person. I don't, if you're a solo player and there's a boss quest to kill the Lich in hell, then so maybe you're never going to do that quest. Is that, is, that a, is that a fatal flaw? Is it? I don't know. Do some yes. people think it is? You think so for real? I mean, uh, I, I think somewhat, yes. Why? Um, because it's like a big part of the game and... Yeah, but what if the solo player? Solo. What if the solo player? I don't know. At that point, if you if you're trying to kill a boss, maybe you have to team up with people. Well, sure, if they yeah. don't want to, but that's I mean, decision, even that's yeah, it's their decision. But even if they do want to kill that boss to get the quest, like, is it so bad to like try to collaborate with a couple of other players? No, they can just learn to solo. Do you think that a rogue could solo the warlord in HR? Because I don't. I'm sure. Any I would love to see that here. video. I would love to see HR that video. Warlord, man. You give me 200k, bro. I'll get it done. <laughs> 200k I mean, there's, gold. There's a guy. There's there's a couple guys that did it with longsword now. I'm pretty sure. So even with the explosion, when you block, you got to get rid of everything. I think but one royal guard, and then the explosion is large enough to dodge. But you can duck under almost every attack properly. From the warlord so you if you're a rogue with a rapier you can duck bob dodge weave bards as well probably melee is doable you guess you need to be able to clear all the guards or else you're fucked hmm. so yeah i think we should just make make a kill kill ghost king but they probably have like kill each boss right because ghost king mm-hmm. can kill in every class but yeah, lich and sure. like warlord bro you're gonna have like massive headache trying to kill them on most of the classes yeah that's true though the the only time those quests are frustrating to me is when it's like a tailor or weaponsmith or um, armor like quest line I want so I can get like my blue gear and my crafts. So if you pull a quest like that and it's just like uh, a chest or something or a gold coin bag 
like something the sweats will get, but maybe the solo player doesn't necessarily need. That's what was frustrating, I think, for like this for me as a solo player. It's like, man, I don't want to do all these hell quests as a solo player, but if the rewards weren't that enticing, I wouldn't be stressed out about it. Like, if it wasn't blocking my tailor or my armor or whatever or those other ones, I wouldn't be as concerned. If it was like a treasure request where it gave you like a bunch of gold or something, cool. That's like a well, super good point. You're getting and, progression locked by by being yeah. a solo player. Yes, yeah. and that was and, the issue. I, like, I didn't care about people wanting to do those quests. It's just like, damn, I have to go to hell or else I can't progress at all. Yeah. Um, so. That reminds me, Tarkov did that really well. Tarkov has like a shit ton of quests, but only some of, not all of them are tied to progression, you know? It'll be like, you do this quest to progress, and then I'll give you like an offshoot extra quest. Yeah. Which could be like boss kills, so. Hey, that's like a good thing to say is, um... They have a lot. As, lo yeah, as long as you're not getting progression locked... Yeah. By these hard yeah. quests, I think nobody would bat an well, eye, probably. Like you, see the, like, you see the good trios with, like, all the craftable gear, and you're sitting there like, man, I can't even get to that because I have to kill Lich, like, well, before, right? You had to do all these right. crazy bossing. Um, but if that was on, like, um, Goblin Merchant or something, I don't really care. I can still do my tailor quests, you know? Really good point, yeah. Hmm. Um, anyway. Someone was asking about Donnie. I, th I don't know. I think he had to take a shit or has an emergency or something he'll be back <laughs> who knows poop break um he let's stare at the sun too long or something yes exactly um let's switch over to q a let's have our chats throw some comments concerns gripes compliments can i ask questions. a question whilst they're asking absolutely <laughs> please yeah. uh gear matchmaking like how do you think they're gonna do it a green's gonna go up crazy in price. Is there gonna be people who like smurfing? Because best in slot greens are just infinitely better than your average green. So this the gear gap's still gonna be there, in my opinion. So what do you guys think? Um, yeah, I think you're question. right. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, that gear gap is still gonna be king and terrible, and it's gonna hurt. Um, and that's why I once again will ring the bell of squish the fucking stats, squish the power. Mm -hmm. Narrow that you gap. Got my vote on that. Yeah. Narrow the gap. The gear will still feel good. <clears throat> It'll still feel nice to have blues on. It'll still feel good to be slightly more powerful. But you won't be able to absolutely dominate and hold W with with no fear, unless you like whiff every fucking hit and they hit every headshot. Like you can still fuck up, obviously. But if yeah, you're it probably just doesn't work with the player base because it would have you'd have to have like you'd have to partition the shit out of it because you have to weight each stat line. You know, like a plus two wall on a green isn't going to put you at five gear score. It should be weighted at like 30 gear, like the equivalent of like a good purple or something, you know. And that's even if they did stuff like that, it wouldn't matter because they're only going to have like four cues, right? So, There's no way they have like 20 cues deep to no, yeah, flush yeah. out the levels or whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. Are they going to remove the path? Like they're obviously going to remove the Pathfinder split then, right? And just do everyone in HR yes. getting gear. I mean, didn't, didn't, they sure, already, yeah, has, didn't they test that already? The neophytes and apprentices in a queue and wander up. Yeah, that's now. that's how it is now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, because we went, we didn't. They were like permadeath characters we were trying, and my god, we're like, let's see if we can fight this team. Oh, <laughs> die in one swing. That's like naked lizards <laughs> running around. It was just crazy. It was funny because we were like, maybe it'll take a little while before we see some of that gear. It was like the first game, like plus uh... plus five or six all, you know. That's because um, Soapy was ranked, right? No, no, we tried it on new characters too. Oh. Yeah, we just started great yeah, from scratch. Right. Um, and we were like, no, this won't be too bad. And then it was like, oh, God, because he was trying to plan for like another <laughs> tournament and stuff. He wanted to see how the lobby system was working. Um, and we we're like, oh, there's a lot of gear in here. But yeah, we, uh, we experienced that same thing even in duos, Wilson. As soon as yeah. they made the change, the day they made the change, we killed two dozen Timmies in dice caves dude <laughs> they had greens they had blue they had browns bows i'm like oh no we just we just killed timmy dude it's he's gone this is bad holy shit he had no crimes change, dude <laughs> like it was bad there was everywhere there's like two geared groups in literally like straight up 20 matches each that was it hmm. it was crazy and then as yeah, soon yeah. as you hit a wanderer <laughs> is yeah. it just full of gear or what no, dude, we were, we no. were, I think I'm Pathfinder. We were Wanderer when we hit it, dude. It was nothing. There was no people. We could not find geared players. 
I killed literally only I almost every death or every kill we had had someone with a bronze piece on from Squire. It was insane. <laughs> For an entire night. Just literally. The player nonstop. base. <laughs> Save the players. Hey, so, welcome back, yeah. Danny. So no, that's why I think boys, you're, like this poop. whole <laughs> You did have that to was, shit. That was that's the guess, funny. yeah. And take a big old shit. Anyway, good, man. Nice. good man. I guess that's why I think it's worth testing all these all these stories of poor Timmy Slaughter. Um but like I like Suki was saying, I I would like to see a, a day where where greens are like like worthwhile taking in. Like your buddies can go into normal, play a few normal games, maybe get some greens, maybe find a blue and have that feel like useful in an HR game, not just completely geared out, like gear difference out. So we'll see how that all works and like what's the trigger because you know, once the community figures out like, oh I can I can like min max all these little items and then I have my oh, yeah. perfect I have my perfect set to now be the most geared player in my lobby still. Um, and it's one point under the bracket yeah, that'll put you exactly. in the next one. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So that will be discovered, I think, eventually. But I do hope there is some use for like all the green rings and pendants uh, and stuff you find because well one curious idea I had just to throw into the mixer here was like maybe they have like a a, a pendant combiner where you can like send five rings to the goblin merchant and he gives you a chance at a blue or something no oh. i don't know how many rings and pendants i find they're just like yeah. sold to merchant and i have no use for them even though i'm excited to find them i just then sell them to merchants so i was always like maybe there's a way they could do like some little goblin thing where it's like a bit of this goblin gambling with your unused pendants or rings and um some way to make greens a little bit more exciting too because you find a green you're like okay i can use that for something but uh anyway we'll see it's a good idea i like it actually warframe yeah. did something similar with ribbons and a grindable item currency yeah item, so yeah i think other games have done like similar things where it's like you're sending your gear and like to you're building it's still going towards something right it's not just an inventory full of green pendants that yep. you don't want to deal with right Suki, i mean do you want to answer your own question like what are, you, what, what are your overall thoughts unless it's been addressed i don't know it's pretty much answered I am curious to see how they implement it and if people are going to like cheese, like bring two kits in so it only counts as like one person's kit or I don't know, the maths. Oh, is however, they do the maths. Oh, no. Yeah. Why would you say that? Why are you giving Get them out ideas? The way early. Get out of the way early so they can <laughs> oh, fix no. it, you know? He's right. <laughs> Sue said he is the guy who's going to run one point under the next bracket. <laughs> yeah. Max that Get the calculator out. Like... Oh, okay. Here's an interesting question from Trev Monkey in my chat. It's been touched on in a previous podcast, but how would you feel about adding more interesting mechanics to weapons? I'm not talking about every weapon having a block or parry like in Mordhau, but something like being able to switch grips. For instance, with the arming sword, holding it by the blade and swinging with the cross guard around, or giving your, and giving your armor pen at the cost oh. of swing speed. Um, I, I, I like where, what, how you know, his mind is working, but what if it was as simple as just reversing the swing patterns? Like you could switch your grip, and now you could reverse the the swing pattern with Zweihander or with the longsword. No, it stabs first or something. No, like instead of oh. like the instead of Swing like left or right. Yeah, it's oh. like you but just that's mirror. That's the final it. stab, like Zweihander does. Like that. Yeah. I think that could actually make, be cool. It would make blocking even worse than it already is. <laughs> well, like blocking in general that. sucks and needs to be addressed. Yeah, like that, and that's, now you it's put like buggy. a dice yeah. roll on every block. It's like, yeah. Wait till multiclassing. You don't know what's coming at you. True. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, maybe there's like some quick visual indicator of someone like hitting the hot key that switches their grip. But really, it would just be mirroring the original swing pattern. I, I, I think that yes, skill would be involved. Mm -hmm. It would be very cool to see. It would, it would change the melee game a bit. I don't think it's would be so OP as to like add in a feint that like true godly level players would be able to to manipulate and become gods with, but I still think it could switch things up. Especially with like really big, cumbersome two handers. Um that like with this Vi hander like in a hallway, like you just always tend to hit that right wall. Like I'm not saying it would fix it being able to swing to the left, you'd hit the left wall. But just having the option, depending on where you're standing, what situation you're in. If you could just hit a hot key, change your stance, and have a mirrored set of swings, hmm. I, th I actually think that could be helpful, and I think it could add a little bit of uh, skill to the game as well. Or maybe I'm fucking batshit crazy and it doesn't work. I don't know. Mm, a little bit. I think it's okay. <laughs> a bit of both. Yeah. I mean, an yeah. alternate attack. Like, like there's, a, there's a button you hold, and then you do an alternate attack pattern. would be cool. 
It would add to the mix up in the game a lot. That so, too. Yeah. yeah, just a just an alternate weapon swing path by hitting a hotkey or holding a hotkey also would be really cool. But man, it would make the game <laughs> significantly harder in PvP. Yeah, it would change a lot. But it could be cool. Yeah. Hmm. All right, let's get another question. What do we got here? I got one from sure. the guys over here. This is um it's changed a bit, but the thoughts on creep. Like do you think they're gonna uh, keep it around or the majority of the community seems this is the question do you think they will remove the ability for all classes to creep since the majority of the community seems to not like it now i think it's i think the consensus has changed a bit since the last little adjustment so i'm just throwing that out there honestly Can we keep it i think the whole creep thing is a very very soft uh pulse check on multi-class and what happens when everyone has access to like a different perk I think this was the safest way to see what it's mm -hmm. like if everyone just had creep. I don't think it's like a permanent change. I don't think they mm -hmm. want everyone to have creep. I don't think this is fully intended to be the path that the game goes down. I think it was just a soft test. Let's what happens when everyone gets creep. I don't get why people hate it. Me Truly. I, I hated it originally when it was like you could still kind of in, in Goblin Caves it was frustrating because it's like narrow and dark. Um yeah. so you're already like it's already panicky in there and you're being super cautious and then you have guys just creeping around in the dark hallways. It made it a little bit more frustrating being that like guy that wants to just fight. It was like super difficult to be the guy making noise in Goblin Caves for a bit. But now since it's been like really reduced, I don't, it doesn't seem too bad to me at all. So mm. it's, um, it's yeah. quite a, like a time sink to try to get yourself across the room. <laughs> With creep, does <laughs> so, anyone yeah. here like hate creep or something? I'm, I'm genuinely curious. I think a lot of like people it. don't like it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it to be honest. I feel like you could creep mm. before the creep change. Like, yeah, you couldn't get as close, but you could get like close enough. Maybe you wouldn't land the first swing, but you'd be yeah. in melee range. I feel like that was like kind of okay. And yeah. the move speed slow, it kind of just sucks when oh, you're using yeah. crouch in combat. Like, I find myself yes. getting hit. In places I shouldn't be getting hit by, yeah. or wasn't previously. Changed a lot about dodging. With that was crouching. the other thing. The Reddit post about dodging bosses. I forgot about. And if you're crouched now, your movement speed slower, so people can't just crouch and like dodge Berserker or Wendigo anymore. They gotta like stand up, sit down, stand up, Bob. sit down. It's because Bob, yeah. So it did change things like that, which I don't think were intended. But I'm kind of indifferent on it, honestly, at this point. But I know it sucks if you take plate boots because you can't creep. Why? Every other class can creep around, but play boots make a clinking noise still. I took them into HR games and like <laughs> everyone's being real like we're like, oh god, there's a team coming. And then I've got my play boots on. I'm like, I should just throw them in the corner of the room. You're like everyone's hearing me. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> shit. I think uh, creep creep if they had every so queue and they didn't have solo duo trios, creep would have a lot more value to the community. If everyone was forced in the crypts or into a trios queue, even as a solo, like back in the play tests. Creep would have a lot better rap in the community right now. Mm -hmm. it's, it's far less impactful in solos and duos in a, in probably the method that SDF wants it to be. Mm -hmm. I think it was kind of trios. My understanding was that it's somewhat of an equalizer, like some way for like a player to try to make a play against a team or something or against a duo, or like you know that that mm -hmm. like uprising kind of moment, but. Uh, I know, like, Soapy had an interesting idea where he's like, maybe they should add, like, more, like, map things that change. Like, you can shoot a chandelier, like, you can shoot, like, a, a torch or something, and it drops and creates, like, a pool of fire. You know, like, mm -hmm. you think of Skyrim in those hallways, and you're like, actually interacting with the map to to do things, and it's, like, map knowledge, sort of. Cool. Maybe you could uh, push a bookcase over in the library, stuff like that. Yeah, like, cool. he, environmental stuff. Said, like, Indiana Jones, like, the boulder <laughs> rolling down, like, you trigger the boulder, and the... <laughs> you get a team running from it but that was maybe just a bit um silly but <laughs> i think hilarious, though. i mean i kind of like that kind of shit though yeah yeah the kind of already have it you can parry axe traps parry mobs parry the yeah, icicles okay. you kind of you can interact with the map yeah. you have a long all right all right he knows where it's at yeah, well, I think that'd be cool. Like you shoot like a something hanging from the ceiling and it drops stuff. I mean, you can lower Whatever. a gate on a player and kill them. Like that's a thing. Yep. I've yeah, trapped yeah, a person in Goblin Caves in the elevator before they fixed it. Oh, like yeah. he was running at me. I was like panicking, like fiddling with that little handle thing, and then he gets stuck in there. And I did slice <laughs> him to pieces. Yeah. yeah I I've did. seen people get stuck in I took that W. 
<laughs> Good W. Yeah. That's funny. I timed it perfectly. That's what I said. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's get some more questions. Jay, what kind of questions you got in your chat? What's going on? Why am I so handsome? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just the usual. The gym and genetics, dude. GG. I'll do it. Ain't no one going to say nothing about warlocks being OP. They're annoying. They're annoying, but I don't they're know not... if they're that OP. Like, I, I kill them quite oh, a bit. Man. I don't know. Fucking, I was There's a lot of them. Again. Doesn't take a lot of magic healing to be really fucking annoying. So. I think yeah, it's just because everything they do is viable and, like, no yeah. other class is really like that. Yeah, that's fair. They kind of they kind of got, like, special treatment, you know? They got all whipped into shape. They did. Yeah. So I'm a little salty because I'm like, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, think it's so annoying. much diversity. No one else okay. does. It's very easy yeah. to solo the entire game, even in HR as a lock, including bosses. For sure, it's yeah, it's so they insane. have way too much. Just yeah, their <laughs> kid, their right. kid is very, very, very powerful. On top of that, you can slap on plate. You have range. Yeah. You have access to a long Keep sword. Safe. You can heal. Yeah, yeah. it's it, well, it's they just crazy. Have everything and no real weaknesses apart from like a low health pool. But low health pool. You have and, yeah. so come on. You don't need... I got one one thing to say. Why the fuck is Hydra so good? I just want to I was just about to say that. His, bro. <laughs> I was in the middle of two three mans fighting in a doorway, bro, right? In a in a dark corner, right in the middle of them shooting through his door. And a fucking Hydra drops right in front of me. I was so pissed. Dude, there's no um, counter play to the Hydra, right? You can't even yeah. beat it. It's got well, too much hit points. Well, bro, it's just like a, it's a infinite auto turret stealth Detect sentry stealth, yeah. <laughs> everything bro it's just like dude it's, and it's it heals not, the warlock. Yeah, something it's everything like that now. is not fun it's just it does everything in one but it's just not fun Honestly. that's just warlocks though yeah. that's how i feel yeah that's that was a salty because i'm pickpocketing no hydra hydra does kind of suck it's just, it's too good yeah i agree like her poses comp was three warlocks like fully <laughs> juice. Oh, and that's, that's what we're up against in my first annoying. couple hr games as a trio <laughs> It's just like it's, things are just flying everywhere. Thing, it's crazy. And if you try to push, it's phantomized. Um, and there's you're yeah, getting six v three by infinite health, infinite <laughs> spells. It's yeah, like nice, exactly. dude. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's they're see. annoying. There's a lot of them. Yeah. They're good. I don't think they're like OP. Maybe they are OP on like the high end. Yeah. They're pretty good. But like, they're definitely the... strong in like everything they do. Yeah. 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 To say the I least. think what's really annoying that pisses most people off is the low corruption. Because I'm thinking fucking whack you for like half your health. Uh, it, it was a good change they made to blow corruption because they lowered the damage. They leaned into the debuff. I think the biggest it's issue is the fact good. that the damn spells are hit scan. Yeah. Yeah. Hit scan yeah. is an issue. Hit With scan. The additional uh, magic damage you can stack. It's uh, blow corruption is still pretty crazy. Like I remember I was watching Kaz um, Kazarin, like Main's plate lock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, when he saw the nerfs, he's just like, eh, no big deal. I'm just stacking a bunch of magic damage anyway. So, Blood Crush will probably still be useful. And actually, yeah, it's, it's even more hurtful on Fighter because you get that debuff on your second wind. Oh, yeah. It's now 80%. Be so Don't pop it at the wrong time, really. Um, that oh, yeah. and Dark Reflection shit. Yeah. Undodgeable get, damage is never good. Yeah, man. that's that's a bad perk. It's If it was yeah. quietly removed, I wouldn't be sad. Yeah. It'd be better for the Lock game. Is, a, is a better fighter than Fighter for... How long is Blow Corruption active? It's like, what, like eight, eight seconds or something? Yeah, eight, or yeah. Nine, eight, eight seconds. Yeah. For those eight seconds, they are a better fighter. But then after that, yeah. they're ass. <laughs> yeah, well, Blood's, like, uh, Bloodstain's 20 seconds. And then you have... Um, if you run Bloodstain oh, and Eldritch, Eldritch Shield, you have, like, a 25 magic damage shield on top of, like, five weapon damage. And then... Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty nice to mix it up as a Warlock if you can get into melee but um like the options to do damage are just like tenfold compared to fighter like we have we have victory strike that is a, on hit and then on a cooldown <laughs> when they have bloodstained blame which is a 20 second buff or even like rage rage is giving like um barbarians like 15 10 strength so like 10 percent power bonus victory strikes 20 percent mm -hmm. power bonus for one hit like mm -hmm. it's so crazy to me that some of those things haven't been touched because fighter has like no damage unless you're playing slayer um, but Slayer yeah, feels well, so the... good. Slayer norms, my and god, good. it yeah. rocks. Slayer's crazy. Slayer is a lot of fun. Too good. But... They do have that sword perk now. Uh, what's it called? No, what is it? Two sword mastery. Needs sword mastery. To be yeah. Uh, sword nice. mastery should be wrong. straight flipped into two-handed mastery. 
doesn't affect one handed weapons. Yep. Yeah. Like it could affect but, the, I mean, the long sword, yeah. beard, halberd, bardy, should be running weapon master. If you're pairing sword made, master. Oh, good, good. Oh, when it was first made, it had like the impact change. So it felt like mm, it was designed for long swords. It was. And then it, it was, was like uh, the biggest buff for Slayer Fighters. And it just like they didn't need yeah. the buff, especially at the time. Yeah, so yeah, yeah two hand yeah, mastery, I'm, I'm, I'm down true. for that. Yeah, I do think anytime yeah. you're buffing the Falchion, it's a little questionable <laughs> how I look at it. <laughs> it already mm. dominates the sword category. Yeah, because if you have Slayer and Sword Mastery on, you get a seven extra damage on every mm -hmm. hit you do. Right out of the gate. So, I, in my opinion, don't even run the fucking Falchion. Run like uh, the Arming Sword where you can smack them almost them twice as quick. Good. Yeah, you're right. And yeah, you can just get good. as Someone... many hits off as possible. Yeah. Yeah. This goes back to some of Augie's stuff. What ends up happening with Slayer Fighting, which is why I don't play it, it's like you use Windows, maybe you use Crossbow, but you usually have two range options at least, and then mm -hmm. you're just pinging them with range damage and then one tapping them with Falchion. Mm -hmm. And that's it. It's like you don't ever engage until you you think you can hit, one hit them with a Falchion. And it's like so Arming Sword's like useless because you're not you don't really want to be in melee that long. You just you just want that one hundred and fifty HP smash to the face and that <laughs> fight's over. So like that's kind yeah. of how Slayer Fighter is, um, which is like why a lot, like I used to play a ton of dual wield and stuff. It was super cool and mixing it up, but it's basically just like yeah, you do your range stuff, you hit him with the falchion. If that doesn't kill him, you just you hope your second, second swing, you alive. yeah, or, or your second one, yeah. your second swing as you try to run away. Yeah, will... yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, all right. I am enjoying oh, Slayer Fighter in trio norms quite a bit. It's awesome. Yeah, you would, yeah, that's a lot of fun. Right? All, all you have to do us. is just is wait. If if you push into people, you're probably gonna die. But if your if your cleric is hitting judgments and your ranger or wizard is hitting even a couple shots and they decide they have to push, and then it's your time to run in and shine and just I don't know, get a couple headshots and kite back while they keep doing range damage. It's very fucking hard to deal with that. If people are pushing into you. The opposite as a slayer fighter trying to do the pushing. You're probably going to get shot down very fast. And in, yeah. in my friend group, I mean, I get shot in the back by my buddies and am half dead or die in the middle of yes. melee you combat. You've been playing with Katie lately? <laughs> no, I've never, I've never played no, with like all the pro streamers ever. No, mm -hmm. Not really, anyway. I mean, I've, play, I've, I've only ever really played with you a couple times, Jay. Like maybe I've, we've probably played together three times ever. Yeah. So, I mean, I get it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's get some more questions. What else we got? I have, I have one I got? keep on hold, but okay, yeah, yeah. Unless you find a juicy one, it's maybe I just yeah, throw it out there. But it's yeah, something, throw it out there. Um, I was curious about, but Ember Mode asked it as well. Like the AP system, um, it's something I've been curious about. I know there's a lot of talk about Demigod as well. Like, should Demigod be that hard to get? And they are changing the system or whatnot. So, what are your guys' thoughts on AP? Like, what what happens here? What do they do? I don't think it's a measure of skill, so it, like gating it at a high level, like what does that do? It doesn't, mm -hmm. doesn't, it doesn't do anything. It just means you have big, to grind another hundred hours. Yeah, That's it's a big it grind, is. and now there's like the multi-class grind as well, and it's just way too much PvE. I ain't got time for all that PvE. Yeah. I agree with Sugi, 100%. Yeah, it needs to be changed. I it, yeah. yeah, I don't think it serves much. I love that they changed the kills. Counting for more, yeah, that yeah, was that was nice, nice to see, but it's still a fucking PVE slog, man. So, especially with the the costs, going in costs are pretty nutty. So, you gotta optimize pretty hard when you're in there, which I sure the hell ain't doing anymore. I rank still aren't gonna fight with because of the risk yeah. of the, the entry fee. It's not worth it still, even the hundred AP. Yeah. Way oh well time. that's a, there's a big yeah. fatal flaw right there is i have made this awesome demigod that i really like playing and i'm i can show my my skill mm -hmm. i can show my value in my duo or trio group but i can't actually queue because if we lose i'm gonna lose this status that's yeah, ew, yeah you gotta <laughs> i felt once you get a rank it should just freeze on that rank yeah yeah it should just be peak I felt yeah. bad for that uh, like nick nick bog did a tournament and like first race the demigod and it was like turned into like almost a month <laughs> like nah. i don't know if it was a month maybe that's over exaggerating but no one knew that oh, they're gonna put in those changes and then everyone's trying to grind the demigod and i was watching it and i was like i wonder how long this is gonna last for and it was like days and days and days of 
just killing mobs and what was trying the highest not to die. rank like a voyager too <laughs> oh i don't know but it looks like it looked like something i was glad not to be a part of like i was just really like 20k like, you know under the mark buddy you guys have oh, yeah. fun i probably took like 48 to 72 total hours in game <laughs> yeah <Good luck. laughs> i'm glad I, people were asking me to do a left and right i'm so glad i would have probably quit and and i, I felt bad because the like, game was, by now it was like a good idea and like well promoted and um the, the game changed <laughs> so yeah. no one knew that was coming speaking of the game change and just like augie's videos jay you've been playing other games i've heard other streamers are just getting a little burnt what what would it take for iron mace to do like what what would have what would have to shift in the game what would need to come out to reinvigorate the old school players who have at this point put in hundreds if not thousands of hours in a game that's not even done, it's early access. It's only not even halfway done yet. What do you think would pull people back in? Jay, I mean, this is really directed to you. I'm going to just call it out of the sea. Where's the fucking content? Mm. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It yeah. was fine waiting like the first while, man. Yeah, you definitely need the something new to do. The patience is definitely running a little thin. Well, it's, I said this when they did the wipe. It was like, what are we wiping for, you know? Like what? Can you? There was all yeah. the, there's, you know, there's some like new items, and they polished it up, which is fun. Can you yeah. elaborate on content a little bit? Like, give us some, give us some examples, and don't just say like one um, class. <laughs> uh, I I consider like a don't get me wrong. I don't consider like a map really that much content to give you an idea. Like a map, you'll experience it in two days, and then you get the gist of the content, right? Like a class, a class is a little longer. A class is going to target. You're going to have like a good pull of some people who only play for that class, right? But for everybody else, it'll be like a honeymoon and then what, right? You sure. need to have like, I don't know. You just need to, uh, something to like really loop you in. Like what's the gameplay loop right now? It's go in, collect shiny, sell for gear, die. Go in, collect shiny, sell for gear, die. Like that is the game loop, right? With a mm. couple quests in between. There's nothing really too deep is mm -hmm. just the honest truth. The only deepness that the game has, the only reason people really are staying, is because the game is good. That's it. Feels good to play. It's fun to play. Cool concept, right? Brand new, like kind of brand new. To me, it's that's what makes people content. stay and play it. Yeah. Past that, there's nothing. There's no other reason. Hmm. Genuinely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I agree with a lot of that. It's just content, but um i do think there's like the, like jay saying the element of like this is still very unique like dark and darker is still so unique in my opinion there's so many other experiences in gaming um right. i'm like i'm very much like this is the okay for example this is the game in my life i've played more than any other game already because like my gaming is very much just dotted around don't have a lot of time to commit to anything um but just played games all the time kind of deal so mm. this is the one game i've really sunk my teeth into for this long I think even without the content creation thing, it would still be the case. So it was interesting to see what Sequisha said. Like he put a tweet out. It was like super happy with the wipe. Um, this game's going kind of going places or something along those lines to be this good in early development. So it was, yes. it was cool to see that someone like him, like he's been around the gaming scene for a long time and on the podcast as well. Sure. Uh, that was cool. But I'm like, I know I'm like too, almost too positive sometimes. Like just like, su I'm super excited for arena uh i'm really excited mm -hmm. to try multi-classing where i feel like i get this whole other wave where like where i look at everything else it's like oh this is gonna be bad stuff or this is gonna happen and destroy things i'm I, i'm just i'm not that concerned i think we're like on the right track but obviously they want to have some content in there uh to keep people like jay or all these other guys and like people that are really grinding it to to enjoy these next couple months so i'm just like i know i have like a kind of a bias Sometimes a bias day because I'm I'm not in the game every day for that stretch of time, and uh, truthfully, like if I could game more, I would. I just can't. So it's like I kind of value my little bits and pieces in Dark Darker quite a bit. Sure. It's maybe more casual players like with normals and stuff now. They're maybe sinking more time into it than they thought they would. So um, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, well said. I'm, I just think, think it's. I just think Arena could be amazing. Like multi-classing they said like something that hooks you like jay's talking about when i think of slay aspire that's it's a pretty addicting game that i've I, i've experienced as well so it's like that's where sdf wants to try to create that addiction with the 
a little bit of RNG, a little bit of like getting that perfect build and then running it for a while and seeing how, how fun it is. So that could be what we're looking for. I don't know. It's just, it's, I find it so teasing that he's like, it's a lot more fun than I thought, <laughs> but like none of us could play it. It's like, damn it, dude. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I definitely think multi-classing will give a, a massive boost to, to burnt out players for sure. And that's, that's a content shift. It's not even an addition of a bunch uh, of yeah. new content, right? Well, in my opinion, a multi-classing. Oh, man. I don't think it's going to be fun for anybody except these people who've grinded their one class to level 100. Yeah, this is where I was going to go as well. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, that's scary. It's not accessible yeah. for the casuals. It's just going to make, like, we've got a gear diff, and then we're going to have, like, the multi-class gap or yeah. diff. I'm not, just, I'm not even going to stack. It's going to be, yeah, you're going from getting gear diff to you're getting time played diff and gear diff now yeah. honestly yeah. it's gonna be like tarkov tarkov like everything levels bro like a fresh yeah, account true. on tarkov just yep. gets fucking ran miles on literally ran miles around because the guy has five extra stamina runs twice as fat jumps three times as high right yeah, yeah i mean i That's hear my that concern but i i hear that but i think that for the fact that it's slightly curated the the perks and whatnot that you can get and for that, the fact that um, it is RNG based will help steer us away from an OP set meta. I think people will be continuously experimenting, which is good. But that being said, sure. I agree that the grind associated right now, and we haven't even gotten it. We don't even know what the fucking grind really is. Yeah, they could sure. change it when yeah. it's released yeah. next week. Sure. We don't actually yeah. know. But as the to the info available to us right now, when, whenever you look at it and decipher it, what we see is, wow, this is a hell of a grind that's going to take many, many hours just to unlock a couple of tokens to maybe get to experiment one time with two classes or three classes, yeah. maybe. That's a mistake, and I think that they'll probably discover that during the test server run of it or even just whenever a bunch of people jump into it and they're not able to immediately multi-class because they lack the levels to to have tokens, I think they'll probably change it. I think that yeah. if it was me, if I was going to make multi-classing, it would be you get the first token. Go that far. Well, you should it get the first token at 20, and then you should unlock another token every five levels, and then at that, and then it maxes out at level 50 or something like yeah. that. And you that's it. I don't, it somehow. I, I don't think we should go like... First of all, I kind of feel bad like criticizing a system that's not even out. Yeah, hundred percent. You're you're absolutely it. right. You're right. I, I was gonna double on on down on what like Wilson said. Like you should you kind of should be optimistic. These people like picking apart like all their theoretical upcoming content and stuff. You're yeah, absolutely right. right. You're hundred percent right. What's wrong with you people? First of all, second, <laughs> hey man, you call it out. This, yeah. You're right. Um, yeah. Fuck. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm It'll be fun. Don't get me wrong. It'll be a blast on the test server because everyone will be able to try it. Mm -hmm. And I, but, I think uh, it's like um, something yeah. they've said, like people have said before, like they, there's a lot of like people in the community that want them just to, like do their thing and make their game, right? And I think this is probably something that's been on that desk for a lot longer than maybe, or maybe it just appeared and it's like, now's the time to test this. And it's like, this is the time before it hits Steam or, um, you know, other markets. Uh, why not <laughs> like let's just give it a go and then there's like hopefully good people in the you know streamer content creator like all the people on reddit and all the people playing this game have like good or bad feedback and they can do their thing but it is exciting to me that they have like the balls to be like we're doing this crazy game breaking thing almost but we're committed and we think it's fun uh mm -hmm. you know and until we experience it yeah and it'll be yeah. very unique because what's yeah, another exactly. multi-classing game out there? Exactly. Well, first of all, it's yeah. another FPS dungeon explorer, and then on top of that, where where's the yeah. multi-classer up? It's it'll be, be unique. I hated it at first, but it's gonna be like a big thing, a big like selling point. You know, I, I think. Lie. I'm just if it works out I, well. I don't think many people are actually gonna get to dip into it unless they make a change to yeah how you're getting yeah. tokens and whatnot. Because right now, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I don't have enough time to even play my fighter class and make videos and have fun. I got a level eight wizard and a level three cleric. I got a level <laughs> 16 second fighter and then a level 41 fighter. Like I have not played enough to get into multi-classing like straight up. Well, so, how about you guys? Yeah. I, much as I love playing the game, I'm not going to sit there and play 500 hours of wizard, bro. I'm just not going <laughs> to do that to myself. Yeah, that's Shit like that will literally make me uninstall. I can't even imagine... The average player looking at it and being like, do I want to do that? 
It's just crazy to me. Honestly. That's, coming from the wizard guy, that's that's crazy. Especially I'm not gonna I'm... sit there and farm <laughs> 500 hours. I refuse, bro. This is literally my way of, of protest. <laughs> no, you're, you're right. Well, and, no, and I enjoy you. the pickpocket videos very much. They and that's funny. the biggest They're thing that funny. I think Suki said was that's a whole lot of fucking PVE. Mm. Like, you don't get a ton of XP for killing players, so it's like why the yeah. so I'm just gonna sit there. And then when you and, die like, to the buff ball, you get half XP. Yeah. So you just run away. Exactly. Right. The AP so, run away, get your point. You, yeah, if you really want to fucking multi class, you just avoid PvP and just kill skeletons for five hundred hours. Like that's yeah, yeah, it's not good. Yeah, I love how Belvardi says twelve K concurrent players is nothing, bro. Compared to what? A fucking Call of Duty? Are you insane? A tiny well, indie studio with 40 employees that have 12,000 concurrent players all this time later for an EA game that's 20% cooked isn't good? That, this guy's well, smoking this. crack. This is insane. Well, Hold what on, is he basing that off of? Out. Relax, I would sir. say this regardless of that. <laughs> that's it. I that's insane. Company, by the way, let's. I, I have it, not started at Iron Mace yet. I'm saying that's insane. <laughs> let me, that's let insane me say to this. say. A game that is also very successful and has been around for a very long time. Oh, and it's not on Steam. This, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, this is on Steam. Um, concurrently, this weekend, a game that I think all of us would consider as much bigger than uh, Dark and Darker had 25,000 players on Showdown. Still very successful hunts. game, very yeah. alive with twenty thousand players. Iron Mace has twelve thousand. Like that's good. Those are good numbers, um, especially for a game on their own website. But go ahead, good. Yeah, no, I remember. I'm glad Donnie brought this up because I was going there because I remember looking at like the EA for Hunt Showdown. It was like less than three thousand for a long time, and then now with content drops, they get up to like forty k um, yeah. players. And like that game, how long has that been, game been around? Feels like forever now. Since twenty seventeen, I think they first dropped on Steam with EA. So yeah, super successful. It's crazy. Same like there's so many things like that, but I'm glad it's a good Donnie game. That's why it is fun. Yeah. It's... So shut up, so much. Uh, I'm not gonna shut up. There? It's I, I'm not. I don't think that I'm being a shill or a I sellout because I know we're just. I'm giving you a hard time. I I know. I'm just saying. I I have said this shit. I said this shit months ago. The ten thousand plus concurrent players on a little indie game in EA is very good. I what said that original? way before I ever thought I would work at Iron Mace. It's not, it's, this is not I, news. I think it's good, yes, but is that yeah. really the point? It's like... To that one not... guy's statement? Yes, that was the point. It was just to say he's crazy to say that. I know, but I think it's, I think the point <laughs> should really be like, what happened to the other 10,000, 15,000 in these three mm -hmm. weeks? It is and that's more fair. A question. I, 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 it's I, a fair statement. It's because the game is in development. It's not done. There's not that much to do, and there's other shit to do in life. Of course, and it's not on Steam. Of course, well, like, novelty yeah. is important. I mean, when other shit comes back, out, people want to experience novelty. Sure. If you go I mean, back to Hunt Showdown, they get like 40k. They they're up probably like 15 or 20, like Donnie said right now. So like content yeah. drop 40k, half their player base is gone in like two or three weeks. Sure. So that's how that's how these games yeah, work. That's just the way the way it goes. Yeah. I thought it was crazy to look at the graph, and I was like, "Man, this is this is actually wild." Because I remember I was having those thoughts too of like, like panic stations again. Like, oh god, the player base is leaving. Like, someone someone message or post, tell them don't kill that Timmy. Like, please, you know what I mean? Like, keep them here. Um, or Augustin and duos, who knows? But um, the more I looked around at other games in EA, like I'm, I'm not a techie guy. Like I kind of live in the woods, so it was kind of cool to see. And their original expectation was like what three thousand. Three to four thousand yeah. is what oh, they originally said. Yeah, so Mr. Positive over here. I'm just trying to. <laughs> Here's you, a got, you got a healthy uh, enough player base for what they got going on right now, and I think yeah, Jay solid. brought up a good point. We should talk about what happened to those guys that left, right? Yes, yeah. we yeah. when it launched. Uh, I think really, my opinion is the the experience is just a little shallow right now. You yeah. know, you come yeah, in, you check it out for a yeah. week or two, and then you will be like, "Cool, I have played all of the new actual content to play." Uh, I'll come back when they update, and I think that's the majority of people who sure. love Dark Terror. Also, these casuals... just a reasonable mindset of those players in the end. Yeah, sure. These casuals are getting rolled as well. Like they're experienced. Exactly. It's harsh. It's a brutal world out there for Timmy. Like he's not having a good time. Uh, I think and Timmy Hunt can have. Oh, go ahead. Where uh, if you died as a solo, you could like do a self res over time if your body didn't get burnt, and just little things like this that makes like it less savage for the for the Timmy. 
well, it doesn't really hurt like, like one vx and you know you're signing mm. up for a disadvantage yeah yeah to begin with you know i do think they need a little tutorial area in the map selection so just you know who has a whole ass tutorial level on showdown <laughs> I, <already know>. <laughs> <laughs> I do i think it would help yeah. a lot i mean we all yeah. learned through plates i mean i played playtest one for I don't know, six hours or whatever. And then I was like, oh shit, this was so much fun. I died 400 times and this was dumb <laughs> shit. When's it coming and back? The, and mm-hmm. the guy who killed you immediately died to a spider mummy. Exactly. He yeah. died right <laughs> after, like straight up. Guy's dead. I'm dead. We're all dead. The Run classic it back. Yeah. fights where they just both fall over after. It, literally, they poison each other. Uh, <laughs> we yeah, learned yeah. during everybody sucked ass at the game. Man. Yeah. yeah. And there is not that right now. <laughs> Like, there's some Timmies, but they're few and far between. Like, real Timmies who don't understand the game are pretty... They're dying Dude. early to stuff that you're not even I'm seeing. Just, I'm curious. How many of you guys kill somebody who very clearly has no idea what's going on? You no. can admit it. One in Am ten. Am I live streaming uh, or not? One in ten. Both, bro. <laughs> Do you, you guys stop and help them, or you just get it over with? Let them live, man. Yeah. Let them live. I feel like... And killed me I, when I like smack them and then they like, they like look up, I'm like, brother, what are you? <laughs> what Puppy are you dog eyes. <laughs> Please, mister. I so bad. I just drop him a potion. He'll do a little point. I'm like, come on, man. Okay, I have the idea. All right. So we all know Epic Games created the Unreal Engine. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Dark and Darker made on the Unreal Engine, right? Who is the biggest player base with the biggest amount of Timmies we could get into in Dark and Darker right now that Epic Games could fund? We get all the Fortnite kids in Dark and Darker. Bro, I don't want some 13 year old cranking <laughs> 90s on me and then calling me some slurs, bro. No. Imagine <laughs> Fortnite. Here, imagine <laughs> Fortnite kids with throwing knives and franny axes. Yeah, the Keep them out of here. Evolves. I want to see they ruin our game. Shift, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and throw down like 30 pavises, you know, building forts. <laughs> Oh shit! I'm more imagine. of like a Baldur's Gate. I want Baldur's Gate players to come over and like, oh, multi-classing. This is cool. Mario, you just want some old guy the, you can beat up on, dude. Yeah. You want the My Baldur's Gate oh. bear fuckers over here, bro? They just added the talking uh, and then the, the the fuck. Yeah. No. Okay. No. Oh, I'll spectate in this guy. His name was I am a dark and darker dev. A word for word, by the way, was his name. He must have been in the stream because he just instantly started jerking his boys off, bro. I could not believe it. Jesus. <laughs> that should be in the EA group is over. Oh, that's funny. We need the Skyrim player base. There's some true Timmy's. Yeah, there we go. Nah, I'm, I'm pro Fortnite kid oh, in dude. my Dark and Darker, all right? Those guys pro are Fortnite. too old. That's hilarious. Man, I'm going to have to be careful, given my opinion on this game going forward. I'm just going to get roasted I, being an employee. I knew it was going to happen. I, I, I did too, but, yeah. I, I, did too, like, but I haven't even started yet. <laughs> you got to understand that now when you like full-heartedly like chill, it's like, hmm. Huh. When, yeah, when have I ever done that? Payroll, literally on payroll. I've never full-out well, shilled though because I criticize and I have stuck to my guns far before I, I ever think... thought I was ever going to work at Iron Mace. <laughs> I don't think you full shield, but when someone, you know, matter, man. that's matter. what the, that's what people people's perception will be. That it's not about being rattled. It's just about like talking about just the obvious really thing. Gross. I will read chat. <laughs> this is a live Q and A. Chat should be able Dude's to talk so to us. So rattled, instantly reads it, bro. I didn't even finish reading it by the time. <laughs> I think it's okay to discuss and talk about. There's that's a whole reason why we have a live chat element. I, I I'm uh, glad that chat has their perspective. I think it's important. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I think there's I'll... some comments you just don't got to interact with, man. You don't, <laughs> yeah. there's oh, something you got to go. Like I said, I, yeah, I, no like I said, I like, I like getting, I like strapping on the sword and shield and diving in the comments. I just video. Sometimes you got to scrum, man. I wonder how yeah. many people in the office <laughs> snuck a video of you and your Twitch community manager. I could not imagine the wars you would have been having. Sorry, say forms. that again about what? <laughs> About, How many well, people like snapped a video of you just like going off on some Twitch complaints when you're the community manager? Dude, <sighs> no, it was a different time. I'll tell you what, though, whenever we would do certain things at Twitch or give our opinion on something that people didn't like, the blowback was far scarier than just like, you know, dealing with a troll in Twitch chat or someone that disagrees with you in Twitch chat. We had people show up at the Twitch HQ office with weapons. We Asking had to call the cops. Username. 
Yeah, no, hundred percent. Where oh, where is Soma? Shit. Where's DJ Weed? Where's this guy? Where's where's so and so? Where yeah, hundred percent. And the, the cops would have to come, security would come. hundred percent. That happened more than once. That happened to me at New York Comic Con when I was hosting Comic Con. We had to get security to or oh, NYPD uh, to come in and given. escort someone out. That was a crazy Twitch person. I feel Twitch like fan. if you read comics, you're already people get crazy, and this is just video <laughs> games. Ready to murder. Yeah, this mm-hmm. is just streaming. This is just video games. This is just entertainment. People take it real, yeah. real far. I don't know. It's yeah, it's well, fucking you know, crazy. So. Uh, you'd I mean, be surprised, man. Dude, anyone showing up at the Twitch office to kick your ass has the job to pay for the bus ticket to get there. No, they beg grandma <laughs> for twenty bucks to fucking show up and kill you. All right, they oh, burst dad's gun, <laughs> whatever it is. I don't know. People are unhinged and crazy, and it's only gotten worse in the crazy, in the twenty twenties. So I don't know. It's fucking. I think you, you, I just you know I just remember is, those days, I, and it, it was it was some creepy shit that happened. And I've long held this opinion. This is like outside of gaming. This is a lot of things. Life is just too easy. Back in the day, oh, all yeah. my anger, all my hatred, I was like, damn, there's a fucking tiger out in the woods. Might eat my ass. Nowadays, I don't got shit to be angry about. My house is air-conditioned. Fucking Wi-Fi 70 bucks. I can get gas. There's no know, marauding like, Vikings. There's no bears to kill. Exactly. You just have right? road rage and your you fat neighbor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then I listen to this fucker sell out on his podcast, and I'm going <laughs> to type at him angrily. You know what I mean? Like, that's the shit I have to be angry about. I'm the marauding too, yeah. Viking. Take me out. Oh, yeah. Dude. No, you're absolutely right. Uh, Western society especially is extremely soft, and we have it made, and that's why we're turning on each other. Because you have yeah. to... Humanity, Stable. like creatures, animals, they, they typically have a war they're fighting, whether it's the war for survival, the battle for survival, finding food, hunting, whatever it is. And when you erase all that, uh, you don't necessarily erase that, that instinct inside of you. And that's exactly why humanity, especially in the West, is clawing at each other. It's a, it's a big issue. You're absolutely right. Uh, this guy's been going off about balancing. Do you guys think the actual class balancing <laughs> is bad? It, We're not talking about the game right now, G. Okay, yeah, I, I, I don't more think... about war bands and Vikings and flags <laughs> and stuff. Um, no, I, don't th- <laughs> Sorry, I think the ahead. classes are actually decently balanced until you get to solos, and then you feel the imbalance. But that, but they, yeah. but, but Iron Mace did, to, yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Iron Mace said this game isn't balanced for solos. We never imagined a solos... Uh, experience, but it, through you community anyways, pressure, yeah, through community pressure, they you, came out with Goblin Caves. You're not gonna balance solos if you have like strong class identities. Yeah. That means oh, you geez. have strong class counters and stuff. Right. Yeah. There's no right. soloing. There's no balancing or being a yeah. thing. Yeah. I think yeah. the balance is pretty good. good. I think it's yeah, good minus class. the gear. Yeah, class yeah, class, class yeah. balance feels pretty good. I think yeah. I agree. It does My seem like a lot. I know I was bitching about build diversity because warlocks can do whatever they want now, but. It does feel like every class yeah. has like a few options, you know, ways you want to play and stuff. Like sure. rogues are out here rapier tumbling, bro. And and just hand crossbow <laughs> yep. ranging only yep. or just using daggers. Or they're still landmining. It's like you can do whatever you want. And that's yes. the weakest class according to 99% of dark and darker players. Hmm. Who main rogue? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what were you going to say, Augie? Yeah, uh, you had something you were going to say, Augie. No, I mean, like Jay said, I think class class balance is actually really good. Like, people mistake, like, when I complain about range to random people, they're like, oh, ranger's not even that good. I'm like, brother, it isn't ranger. Read. Mm. It's just range damage to me is, is it deals the same as melee, and it's as good as melee in every situation. That's my only issue. Mm. And that's not a class issue. Like, that's a, yeah. a player base optimizing the game into a hellhole. Well, I, I do agree. Uh, this is the range shit is just too much. Like... I, I was bitching about this the other day. It's like, even if I outplay you by dodging like your swings, right? And then I get away and I hear you pull the crossbow out. I dodge that as well. Like mm-hmm. I outplayed you tenfold by at least to survive, right? And then sure. what? what's the next step? You throw 12 axes at me? It's like, <laughs> where do you draw the fucking line, bro? It's like, yeah. you have every option to not get outplayed with all the range in the game. And that, to me, gets really fucking old, honestly. I hate dying to throwing axes. It because sucks. It's, it's not one, it's ten every single time. That You're right, so man. Old, yeah, it's I agree. Bad. It is pretty bad. Hmm. I'm that guy in normals, by the way. <laughs> That's <laughs> disgusting. Yeah. That's yeah, disgusting. I'm talk you the last axe hits me, bro. I don't go. I will I'll, call you. Here's the thing. Say, this is what you do all day. You fucking Here's the thing. Every class, I feel like you have an option to defeat most other classes. Most, you know. Obviously, there's some mm-hmm. hard counters, right? Mm-hmm. But 
for a lot of those options, it is not fun. It is not the fun way to counter them. So, like, if I see a wizard, I can either shoot him with a bow, or if I don't have a bow, I'm like, fuck, I just got to WQ this guy, or I just got to go the other fucking direction. And, like, sometimes, unless I win that, I'm like, that was not fucking fun to do. <laughs> and even when I do win, I'm like, God, that was just fucking annoying. Sure. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I think solos is always like a, a mosh pit, but when I was in, I'm glad I tried trios out because it was kind of interesting to see, like we changed our comp and then we ran right into the buff ball. So we're like, okay, <laughs> do we change again? Or like, do we, do we perfect what we had going before? Um, so that was kind of cool to see what everyone was bringing into to trios because solos is like, as a fighter, I'm just like a warlock, wizard, barbarian. What do I do? Mm. I just, I, the movement yeah, speed I mean... isn't quite there and. People think sprints great, but man, I tell you, warlocks warlocks do a lot of damage, and barbarians can just build like a 300, 400 gold kit with like a purple Zweihander and like agility boots on or something, and they're like gods. Hmm. Like a missile, that thing. bro. It's just you a meat missile, missile, yeah. Um, so in in like in solos, it's funny because the range is like difficult to pull off in goblin caves sometimes because you don't have that time, like you don't have a front line. You you got a barbarian busting that door down, smashing you to shit. So, and Slayer Fighter just clubbing you with the falchion, you know? So, it's funny because the range stuff in Goblin Cave is a lot different. It's just like the classes are really strong and just running you down. Where in trios, it was definitely like this this game of cat and mouse of who was going to who was gonna jump into that engagement first. So, I'm just, yeah. I was just glad to experience it all, but mm. I'm not, um, I'm not certain if there's any like too many balance issues with trios right now i just think some things are yeah i think support classes are very good in trios we played off meta always our trio from play test through we played barb cleric long sword fighter <laughs> and it's not fucking doable <laughs> if i'm being completely yeah. honest it's terrible especially mm. when range was an issue but and it's still an issue but like we all quit in december cuz it was shit <laughs> It was shit. We put our buddy Nightshine on Wizard. Holy shit. We put me on Falchion Shield. Holy shit. We ran through 14 lobbies in a row with 150 mm. kills. Like insane. Just because of how good support buffing one character is that has an optimized build or an optimized weapon in the game. Yeah. So it's, I mm. think support classes are actually just a little too good overall. Support buffs, maybe. But what, what, if you, you're going to nerf them and then what? they'd get to do nothing so it's like fuck they gotta uh, that's why i'm not like in my video people are like oh i'm glad you're calling out iron mace uh it's glad to see someone <laughs> not shilling i'm like hey dude i'm shilling for iron mace like they dropped me a play test during a lawsuit through a discord torrent link i'm all in <laughs> for the rest of their fucking careers yeah, done yeah. and me calling yeah, yeah. out something that's not fun to a lot of people because at first the first 24 comments was split down the middle. People tell me I'm a goober and people saying, damn, I love that you're calling this shit out. The next hundred comments were people upset about the game. Like straight yeah. up. Everybody is upset about that fucking shit. So mm. I'm kind of shilling the Iron Maze because someone's got to make sure that they know a lot of the player base doesn't fucking like the way their game is right now. And <sighs> we don't really have a say in it because I had a good comment. Guy was like, dude, you're playing another man's dream. What are you going to do about it? And it's like, well, shit, dude, you're right. I don't get a fucking say in it. Mm. So I, if it's going to change into something I don't like, then I'm gone and cool. Thanks for the 14, 1500 hours of good fun. Yeah. And I think that's the healthy way to look at it. But I, yeah. I think the good news is, you know, we have like the best bones. If you enjoy like the systems and all that stuff, like the, the basic idea of it, I think right now we're just waiting for them to build something a little bit more interesting. Is to let us go in a different direction and you know with with all these big kind of like looter shooter kind of games like this where you have these big wipe seasons it, it gets dry like it gets frustrating to keep doing this stuff if you really you know keep at it so take a break do something else for a bit like casually mm -hmm. there'll be an update soon enough where you'll be like oh shit cool so, yeah hey. sdf said like update coming in the next week or so yeah, oh, and nice. just a double add down. There's a reason every extraction game out there does a very sharp decline over the wipe. The, you gotta have some very strong mental game to like really grind extraction looters. It's sure, no, like half right. the gameplay loop is you're supposed to die. You know, yeah, sure, that's true. Yeah, the last like three Tarkov wipes, I've gotten to level twenty, and I've just been like, I'm not doing this to myself again. Like out. I had my fun. 
I'm I got like I got 20 hours. Five. I'm good. Like, I'm not going <laughs> to put myself through the cock and ball torture of like grinding all that stuff. Yeah, I've no, got my you. fun snipes and my fun factory runs. I'm done, though. Yeah. Mm. Sick of questing, damn it. Dude, I mean, just, you get to some stuff where it's just like, fuck, like, Shooter Born in Heaven this last time was like, <laughs> you had to get like six headshots on like uh, six different maps or something crazy. I was just like, fuck this. Like, I'm good. All right, I got a, la a final question for everybody. Outside of Dark and Darker, what video games are you guys excited about? Like upcoming. Ooh. I was just thinking that question. Oh, Who shit. asked that? That was me. Have you all that was seen... just my own. My own uh, uh, I was question. gonna ask Suki this because I I don't know oh. what Suki did in the past. I'm just like, yeah. Let's have, let's let's start with Suki. <laughs> Suki, what games are you excited about? Wait, wait. Come back to me because I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I just I'll played Dark and Darker, man. Yeah. Too many beans. <laughs> I'm excited for the Dune MMO, the new Star yes. Wars Outlaws game, and uh, God, there was one other game that I'm excited about, and I literally am brain farting right now. Fuck. Dune MMO, what? Elden, Elden Ring uh, DLC. I feel like there's. Aren't Riot thing. doing an MMO? MMO? Oh, Riot MMO. I'm excited about that. They, 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 they scrapped it and restarting, so add on another day. Wait, what? Yep. Yeah. They yeah. scrapped yeah, they're it? Like, they're like restarting or something. Oh, New my God. So, 20, 2032 release. Everyone's going to hate yeah. this shit. So, we're restarting. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> they're that's probably crazy. like every MMO company ever, and they made like a dog shit MMO. No surprise. Wow. So they're going to restart. I'm kind of excited for Dark and Dungeon Born and <laughs> Crawl. Now, there MMOs though, there is one coming up by the guys that made uh, old school RuneScape um, called Brighter Shores. It's kind of like hidden, but it's a free to play MMO. Um, and it has like some of that old nostalgic old school RuneScape vibes, but very, very like it looks cool. It looks cool. I, I want to try that out for sure. Hell yeah. Um, he, he's like, he got released from like his a contract agreement with them and then decided to make his own game just to prove that his um engine worked and then he said i just kept taking it so far he's like well i might as well just finish this game because he <laughs> developed his own engine for this game which is kind of cool was that are you talking about the runescape guy yeah brighter shores oh, yeah okay. yeah okay yeah he made it himself pretty much so it's kind of cool interesting nice. there's okay. a trailer and stuff but i'm excited it did just look like another runescape almost no, oh, yeah, I mean, RuneScape was RuneScape's one of the best games ever made. So that's the oh, other game, Path Dark of Dark Exiles Dark. Two. Path of Exile Two. Sorry, that was the other game yeah. I was. I'm excited about. My bad. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead, Wilson. Sorry. That's that's it for me. I mean, Dragon Schematar anytime in Dark and Darker, please. <laughs> Give me something. Suki, yeah. what do you think? What are you excited about? Uh, V Rising actually. Now that I think about it, full release coming out soon. Oh. It's just like isometric Dark and Darker. It's like full loot. Some base building. It's pretty fun. Mm. Boss mechanics in there. It's yeah, it's a good game. So hell yeah. Maybe play that. I have that game. Yeah. Very nice, Donnie. Oh, dude, I got a few. Um, tomorrow there's like a closed beta test or something of that Throne and Liberty MMO. I'm hoping I get into that. Tomorrow? Yeah, it's April is this, 10th. Is this their first beta since the pl auto play beta? I don't know. But it looks cool. Um, supposedly it's giga pay to win, so hopefully when they release it out here, they yeah. change that. Yeah, it was pay um, to win and it was auto play. Auto so play? What do you mean by that? You don't even like. You just push the button and it plays for you. It's like a mobile game. What? You didn't know that? <laughs> no, okay. Well, game. my hype is dying. Uh, <laughs> apparently they did that. Just shot the hype in the because head, like fucking. I know they winless. took it out, but when it came out, it was just like an absolute. Amazing just, how they made something so bad. So uh, I have zero expectations for that game. Well, that's sad. yeah. What? It's big pay to win in the in their Korean release or whatever. So Damn, buying that blows. buying uh, upgrade materials and nonsense, kind of like BDO. That's, so. that's poopy. Wow. Damn. Um. Other than that, though, uh, Manor Lords, like the strategy game, comes out. I think oh. on the twenty sixth. Uh -huh. That game's gonna be fantastic. It's like Wait, you are like a medieval lord and you build your own village. Wait, and you... is that you say banner lord? No, manor lord. <laughs> yeah, very manor. Similar. No, so it's like a strategy game. It's like oh, okay. uh it's kinda if I had to describe it yeah, yeah, it's like Age of Empires meets Crusader Kings would probably be the All best right. way to describe yeah. it. So it's gonna be really cool. 
Hmm. Um, oh, and dude, and also my other fellow nerds out there, Dwarf Fortress, the new adventure mode update comes out uh, this month. That's going to be fun. Hell yeah. I heard that game was good. Improved yeah, it. it's really fun. You just yeah. got to get a fucking PhD in oh, God, yeah. the game to learn it, but it's, it's a good I time. I tried that. You know, a game I saw last time my friend showed me was No Rest for the Wicked. Oh, it's yeah, like, that looks good, too. Yeah. It looked pretty good. Uh, it looked okay. I only watched the trailer, but it looks, it looks, it looks very sick. cool. I think uh, One Peg played it on a stream recently. Hmm. Yes, that's like the top down like, kind of like loot oh, and kill bosses from the Ori and devs. And yeah. 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 That comes out like this was week, probably right? playing it. I think I watched it. It was like overhead, Dark Souls esque. Looks like, beautiful. I think it's supposed to be yeah. co op, though. Like, you know, you can group with your boys. Yeah, I'll probably That's check weird. that out for sure. But what, what about weird. you, Augie? What are you excited about? Mm. Elden Ring DLC for sure. Nice. Uh, oh, I got, yeah. I, nice. FromSoft games are probably the. Uh, I got more hours than those than even League, and I played League for eight seasons. So I spent 2,000 hours killing. Forest Cove Invaders and Dark Souls One on that super little hill. So hell yeah, um, loved Elden Ring. Invasion so PvP and, uh, is so good, man. That's so fun. I did, dude, I love it. It's so fun. It's so fun. Random people dueling, so fun. Love it. Hell yeah. What else? That's. I mean, I'm in the. I think I got access to the, one of the alphas for Ashes. I was a supporter four years ago. On Ashes of Creation. Yeah. That shit yeah. ain't coming for another. I don't know. Star Citizen will be done before that's ready. What is the <laughs> beta comes out? State of Ashes. Like, do I they think have any beta two comes out this? this year right a couple months yeah. the combat's way better like they've they've released some videos showing off some of the combat changes and classes i gotta say i was in ashes and for ashes yeah. yeah i gotta say like whenever i first saw ashes i was like hey like i respect this this studio and this team like they're all a bunch of like diehards this like rich dude is funding it himself because he wants the feel of the old school mmo i respect that mm -hmm. but man this looks kind of dog watery but until i saw I, I thought that until i saw these trailers and the combat and the movement and shit looks so much better. Like they've they're yeah, fucking cooking, man. Changing. It looks cool, yeah. but yeah, I, I'm not really paying attention to it until it's like actually playable and feels chunky and good. Until, I heard, that's gonna I be yours. Tell you that story. Someone told me about the Steven guy from Ashes, like the CEO. Mm -mm. Yeah, go ahead. He played Arcade, right? So, yeah. So someone told me that he was in a guild with him, and that guild was like pretty racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was like a high rank in the guild. <laughs> Yeah, that's just... When he started working on Ashes, he cut like everything and scrubbed like any relation. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's like you know what? Yeah, if people on the internet are being racist and you happen to be in the guild, well, that's just unlucky that you're around those. Yeah, who knows, bro? It's just maybe it's yeah. a that's a little, that's allegedly, a little funny, allegedly. It's still Steven. kind of funny, I think. Interesting. But, um, <laughs> oh, I, I did have one thing. Um, someone brought this up earlier. I was thinking about this. Is this is why it's so weird that he brought it up. What do you guys think about? I guess it would only apply for like solos, normals. But what if they did like a league A RAM type of balancing to help with like the class difference? You know, it's like rogues have five percent more health and five percent more damage, and barbs have five percent less health and five percent less damage think that would have any place you're saying like on the test server players could queue up in a single hallway a ram against another player just no, to click just, what are you that's talking just about? what they do in a ram in league of legends they put on like sure a balance modifier per character oh, because some oh, characters oh, kind of oh, suck see. in like a one lane environment i see right? i don't know about and some that. classes suck against some classes and solos hmm. i feel like with iron mace they'd probably go the other way and do like an ultra rapid fire mode where they just give everyone <laughs> everything yeah. to the extreme and like oh, then we'll make shit. decisions <laughs> yeah. yeah that'd be fun yeah juice everyone yeah. up in butt naked kits mm -hmm. that's funny i don't know but it's in a ram style it's kind of interesting is yeah, anyone right? else sure. excited about star wars outlaws no what is what is that is no. that made by ubisoft though um, I don't know. It might be the only good game they're actually working on, but Star Wars Outlaws. Uh, I don't know. For me, it looks it looks cool. It's a uh, massive yeah, entertainment. Ubisoft Paris. That sucks. That yeah, that's here, that's a little nerve wracking. But the game looks fun. But I also, even though Star Wars sucks now, I'm still a fan of it. I, I suck. When was the last time they talked mm -hmm. about it? I see nine months ago they had a gameplay trailer. They had a gameplay trailer. Yeah, um, less than a year ago, and it uh, looks so. it looks cool. Yeah, why not? I mean. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just like at this crazy 
I mentioned all those like um, clones, um, like for Dungeon Born, all this. Do you think there's like another? Do you guys think we'll see like a, a large studio tackle something like in this style in the next year or two? Because like you know, like VR was something that everyone tried to do. Uh, are we gonna get more dark and darker uh, things? No. Or is this like I think a standalone? It, the game would have to pop first. It's like yeah, everyone, grab attention. Uh, people, some people in my chat have been like, "Well, once Dungeon Board comes out in Steam, they're gonna have you know, competition and stuff." And <laughs> uh, that's funny. In my opinion, I'm like, it's not really a non-issue with Dungeon Board. But if another studio was like, "Hey, what what can we do here?" I know. Um, I think Nine Realms folded. That project's completely yeah, done uh, around Christmas. Um, oh, but uh, so I don't. I just was curious because I I know they're. There could be potential for something else to jump in there. I think that there's probably some early conceptual stuff at a couple of triple A's right now, and they're watching what's happening with Iron Mace. They're waiting to see what happens with the game. And if certain milestones are hit, they will pull the trigger harder than they already are. Yeah. But yes, but you know, I do not think that any current clone has a fucking chance in hell. I nice games, games chance and L. Like, they just don't. So I want to bring it up again. Like, please tell me how much you love Dungeon Board. I just, I don't, I don't respect any clone. I've been, I've been in the gaming industry for a while now, yeah. and I've seen this happen many, many times. Um, the first time I ever saw it was the War Z trying to copy Daisy, and oh, the yeah. War Z made a little bit of money and faded away because it was a piece of shit clone that was just trying to copy homework to make a little bit of money quick. And that's what I think Dark and Dungeon Born and whatever the other fucking clone is, The Descent or whatever, I don't even know anymore. Yeah, there's um, a couple of them. I just, I, 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 they're cash grabs, and anyone that's getting tricked by it just hasn't been tricked by it before. Whenever you see it a few times, you start to realize what it is. <laughs> and I think that there will be other games in the genre that will actually be a contender that could usurp the throne of Dark and Darker one day, but it's not any of these like early cash grab clones, not by any means. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I there's there's definitely the chance for like a real contender to come out on Steam in a year that is better than Dark and Darker. There's a chance. Of course there is. That's I mean, uh, PUBG, eventually all those players went to Fortnite and Fortnite became a massive thing that like changed gaming for a while. And the, Fortnite was not the first iteration of Battle Royale. It built yeah. off the the shoulders of giants and it didn't try to copy homework outright, you know? True. Anyway, that's the way I True. look at it. Hmm. I think there's just not enough reason for a company to like go after this market. Like, what are you, not are you going for? Twelve k player base? Sure, like, not. Yet. No, what they the want to do test, is like yes. When it had six figures, they probably they definitely looked at it and they're like, hey, if this works, let's maybe dive in. You know, but there's no way yeah. they look at it after all of everything that's happened. They're like, yeah, we should still do this. I, I highly doubt sure. that. Now let's say in like a year or two, this game blows the fuck up and it pulls a Tarkov. Uh, yeah, I think they would start coming out left and right. For sure. yeah. It's crazy, because like, what else out there is like Tarkov? Is there, there, you know, because like Tarkov... There's was plenty that came successful. and tried. But yeah, that's what I mean. So, <laughs> interesting yeah. how it's all going to play Tarkov's great, out. man. Done, yeah, Tarkov done, like had a... Done, <clears> sorry, <throat> Tarkov is just so good, man. Oh, yeah. Just so unique. But Tarkov had a, a slow start, and then oh, yeah. it, did, it, yeah. it started to get a bit more, you know, like completed, and then it had Twitch drops, and then it just fucking took off, you know. Yeah, right. that's a good point. So I think I think we have yet to get there, if there is that, which I'm sure there is. Uh, the... hmm. Oh, sorry. We're gonna hit up the marketing guy. Get, um, <laughs> my Twitch drops. <laughs> Boys, right. this was a uh, <laughs> this is a good one. Uh, Suki Augie Wilson, thanks for joining us, guys. Yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm. Thanks for having us, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. These are I always love the round tables. You guys are always uh fun guests, Augie and, and Wilson and Suki. Obviously you're a great guest too, so it was good to have you on a second time. Um, all right. Where can people find you on the internet, Wilson? Um, Wilson's underscore game on Twitch and then Wilson's <laughs> game on YouTube. I always mix it up myself because it's <laughs> <laughs> um, it has an underscore in the middle, and I don't want to say just Wilson, but it's Wilson's. So sure, awesome, Suki Someone stole it. Yeah, just Suki Spy on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, I do longsword stuff. That's about it. Yeah, 
Beautiful, beautiful. And he and he's bean flicker on OnlyFans. Sorry. <laughs> he's the bean I said that to you in private, man. The guy you don't want, he's the guy you don't want your wife to run into on like a ladies trip. <laughs> the bean oh, wow. No comment. No comment. <laughs> dirty, dirty. Augie, how about you? Uh, Augie Sun on Twitch and YouTube. Beautiful, Donnie. Uh, you can find me at the Donny on YouTube and Twitch. Sometimes I stream. Lovely. I'll probably stream more because I, I won't be working for like the next two to three weeks. So nice. nice. There you oh. go. Break time. Oh, yeah. That's like a New good job. nice. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. New yeah, job. Like vacation nice, not like Damn. Either. Nice. That's so sad. You're gonna go right back to work and like Druid's gonna come out, multi class is <laughs> gonna be there. <laughs> uh Mr. <sighs> Griffia. Yeah. Uh Jay Griffia on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Wonderful. I am at Soma on everything except YouTube, which is at underscore Soma. You can watch this podcast there and also a fifth edition D&D campaign I'm playing in. So check that out if you're a hardcore nerd. Um, we'll be back next Tuesday at 6 p.m. PT. And that's yeah, April 16th with Skinny Pete. Mr. Skinny Pete himself will be on. Mm. The man with the stylus should be an interesting one. Um, that guy's a god tier player. Mm -hmm. Cannot wait to talk and to him. And we told him he has mm -hmm. to wear the gloves the whole mm -hmm. episode. Yeah, yeah we well, just want cam. the <laughs> the cam on of his fingers. Yeah. Yeah. Love cam. He's got to give us jazz <laughs> hands a couple times. I got a, I got a good story for Skinny Pete. I met Skinny Pete before he started streaming. No, oh, around yeah. ruins. Really? He ran into me, recognized my voice, and was like, "Oh my god, Augie, I gotta whoop your ass." I was like, "All right, man." And I was in rags. He's like, I can't whoop your ass. You're in rags. He drops me a Slayer Fire kit from someone else he killed. And then we go <laughs> ham. And he kills me. It was a great fight. It was awesome. But he, he ran into me, recognized my voice, dropped me gear, said, I can't fight you. You're in rags. <laughs> and then he said, don't so worry. 4,000 more how hours. 4,000 more how hours while I was dying. I was like, oh, man. Did he play more now with the fucking uh, stylus? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was. Uh, Probably. He's God, pretty cool, dude, even horrific. before he started streaming, though. So the make sure you all check in next week. That's funny. Wait, um, I just now thought, how does he left-click and right-click? I don't know. Well, Styles is probably gonna, buttons. We're gonna, okay. Yeah, we're going to break yeah. this down because I look at it and I do not get it. We're going to have him break it all down. Uh, <laughs> And I'm honestly, I'm going to have him turn the camera on and point it at the stylus and the, the fucking weird hand thing and... I want him to show us what the hell is going on because I, it's amazing to watch. Tireless buttons, baby. Yeah. Uh, all right. This is a great one. Boys, thanks again. Looking forward to having you guys on again in the future. Suki, I know it's very late for you. Thanks for joining. I really appreciate it, especially, you know, on your side of the planet this hour. So appreciate you. Um, thanks, man. No problem, no problem. All right, guys, um, have a great night. Chat, have a good rest of your week. We'll see you next Tuesday with uh, Skinny P for episode 58. Until then, have fun in the dungeons. Goodbye. Bye. Be safe, take care, boys.